All right, everybody. Here comes the moment of truth vis-a-vis -vis the, uh, the tweaking I've been doing for the last 10 minutes or so since I decided Evil Within is what I wanted to do. Anyway, welcome. Welcome to a Saturday long stream. Like, really long. Like, truly all day. Tomb Raider style. Double digit hours. I'm excited. Hey, Lone Wonder. Good to see you as ever, my friend. How are you doing? <clears throat> Photosensitivity warning. Hey, this might be important, even for viewers. A small percentage of people may experience seizures when exposed to certain lights, patterns, or images. Even with no history of epilepsy or seizures, please review safety information in software manual, also available at manuals.bethsoft.com. I'm doing well, Lone Wonder. Thanks for asking. I guess I'll pause. I'll pause at this screen and give people a few minutes to trickle in before we actually start playing. Um, I'm not going to lie. The reason I gave up on this game, kind of two really. It gets. Um, I, I, I didn't love it. I liked it. It's like a version of Resident Evil 4 that, where various segments of the game will kind of overstay their welcome and get a bit repetitive just with endless hordes of enemies. It's not paced quite as well as Resident Evil 4 was, but Resident Evil 4 is certainly the relevant comparison if you haven't played this game before. It's very similar stylistically. Um, hi Reaper. Uh, hi Ethan. Hi Martin. Hi Infinimora. Hi Carefree. Uh, thank you so much for the bits already. I feel like I haven't done anything to earn them. I just fired up the stream, but I really appreciate it, my friend. It's good to have you here. And... Anyway, I was just kind of talking about the game. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it plays a lot like Resident Evil 4. More technically advanced. I don't think it's as well-paced or quite as well-designed. It's certainly not as well-written. It takes itself a little too seriously. It doesn't have anywhere near the fun, campy horror storyline that RE4 did. So I don't love this game. There are parts of it that get to be a big slog, which is why I never finished it, but... I like it. And it's funny that you say that, Martin, because I felt a little bait and switched after the first stage. Because if you remember when they were marketing this game before it was actually released, like all they ever showed us was bits of the first stage. So you thought, ooh, okay, yeah, we're going to sneak around. We're going to be fragile. This is a This is a scary horror game, not an action horror game. And then, of course, after you sneak past the executioner, it turn it just it just immediately heel turns and becomes Resident Evil 4 and it's all action. And that's not a bad thing. It's just kinda not what I expected. Okay. I think that's enough. Looks like everybody who was watching on Discord has had time to get in here, so let's fire it up. The evil within. Press any key. Loading profile data. So I've already I've already messed with the options. We're going to start a new game. So as you can see, I have played it before, but like I said, I never finished. <clears throat> yes, I'm fine with you overriding my autosave data. Please adjust the brightness so that the mark in the center is barely visible. Um, it's pretty bright for me playing right now. Like, I can see the mark on the left, and the mark in the center is clearly visible. So, for my gameplay experiment, um, for my gameplay experience, rather, I feel like I should turn the brightness down, but I'm going to consult with you guys. How does it look on the stream? Just look, look at the three marks and tell me what I should do with the brightness for your comfort. You cannot see the middle mark on the stream, so I need to turn the brightness up. Okay. Does everyone concur with Martin's assessment? 
I should actually turn the brightness up for you guys. Let's try 60. Can you see the middle mark yet at 60? Middle mark is visible, left not. Okay, that's what we want. We'll leave it at 60. So we can do casual for the weak and fearful. Auto-aiming enabled by default and slightly more ammo than normal. Survival, standard difficulty, challenge and overcome your fears. Once the difficulty level has been selected, it cannot be raised during gameplay, but it can be lowered. Lowering the difficulty during gameplay will restart the chapter. The difficulty setting can be changed in-game via the options menu. Yeah, we'll go with survival. Enemies will search out any loud sounds that they hear. The other thing to say about this game is that it's hard. Chapter 1, an emergency call. <coughs> One eight four copy code three ETA three minutes. Copy one eight four. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. It said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. One three one, please advise. Hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? One two seven, one two four. Please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene? Respond. Dispatch. This is Detective Castellanos in one eight four. What's the situation? Over. One eight four. Be advised. Some problems with Chimones on the Beacon Memorial. Is there any? Junior Detective Kid. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. Dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. All right, here we go. Not there are no weapons left in their cars. There are lots of little story beats here. There's nothing we can actually find. No, no, Martin, don't, uh... If you have tips for bosses and everything, I'd like them. Really, I would. It's, um... So I said, this game is hard enough that I had trouble with it on survival, let alone the harder difficulties that unlock afterwards, so... Anyway, there's nothing to find out here in the intro. Just establishing some atmosphere, as it were. Ah. It smells like blood. All right. Stay sharp.
We're gonna check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. Beacon Mental Hospital. Lots of dead people. Doctors, nurses, patients. Someone alive in here. Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik is... I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. Big trouble starts early. Hey, DBZ. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Well, hello. Isn't that lovely? Press space repeatedly. So you can see the knife sticking in the corpse over there. We want to swing over to it so we can grab it. Work up some momentum. And we got it. Sneak up, you... Oh yeah, sneaking. Control, sneak. And we found a checkpoint. Now, you can sneak up and backstab him. It's not a good decision, though. I promise you. Instead, we just want to take the keys. Ordinary keys. A key ring found in the mental hospital basement. These were in use long before the hospital's modern security system was put in. Creep back out. Is it really going to be this easy? You should know better than that. Um, it, 
I mean, if you do the sneak attack, it doesn't kill him and he murders the hell out of you. <laughs> like, instant death, basically. <laughs> we have an action sequence coming up. Just give me a second. Note self, use spacebar. Okay. There's another checkpoint. Now, if we look at the floor, we can see the tripwire, but we cannot make Sebastian avoid it. There's literally nothing we can do, which I feel like is really stupid, but I suppose it gives rise to the scripted chase sequence that they want. So, here goes. Run, numbskull! Our leg just got fucking chainsawed! Oh boy. What the fuck is this? One might reasonably ask. I thought this was a fucking hospital. <laughs> Oof. Alright. Well, what's even weirder is how after the next couple of cutscenes, the chainsaw gash on his leg is just magically healed and it's never explained like it never shows him getting it bandaged or anything we're gonna limp around for the rest of this level and then we're just gonna be fixed it's great checkpoint Looks like a dead end, but we always want to search thoroughly. This is me, after all. See, right now we're acting like somebody whose right calf was just gashed open with a chainsaw. Which, you know, is what we are. And now our open wound is literally in raw sewage. Old note from Sewer. Beside the locked gate at the far end of the sewer, there is a ladder which would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. R. Hey, Maya. Good to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Suppose we should check out this door. Just a good old-fashioned dead end. Love those.
doing these little pauses. Handle emails. There's some flying around right now. We got two new cases at work, so there's not a lot of actual work to do at the moment, but there's lots of organizing and coordinating going on. Doesn't look like we can go that way. This lock actually looks like we can do something with it. But not now. I get the feeling we're going to be back here at some point. <laughs> Can we do anything with these? No. They look like lockers, but I guess they're not. Boiler room note, 1300, STEM system operation test begins. 1315, success. Confirmation of brainwave synchronization, loss is minimal. Continuing experiment, agent collects the data. 1330, anomaly occurs, not with the subject. The stenographer claimed they weren't feeling well and then fell into a coma for reasons unknown. Doctor orders the STEM system terminated. Mm -hmm. 1345, staff begin complaining of, and see, the PC port is kind of crummy. Oh, see, the mouse wheel didn't work for scrolling, and I couldn't, uh, I guess maybe the arrow will? Nope. How do I read the rest of this document? Seriously. This is dumb. The mouse wheel is supposed to scroll it. I, I can't read this. What the fuck? Thirteen forty five. Staff begin complaining of nausea and Yeah, it integrates um it integrates a lot of widgets that I like, especially the um the event monitor and the uh I got to figure out how to scroll through this cuz I swear I was able to do it in um uh, the last time I was playing. I've got to figure out how there's some key that does it. I'll google it right quick. That should work. Here comes the first alt tab. That's a moment of truth. Oh, it's working just fine. Good. Even within PC document scrolling. Okay, here's what the Steam community has to say. Don't move the mouse at all. Hit escape, navigate to the archives and file using only the keyboard and the scroll wheel should work. Well, okay.
Yeah, perfect port so far, right? Okay, so let's try again. Okay, so don't touch the mouse. Navigate with just the keyboard, and then the scroll wheel will work. Nope, that's a lie. Or maybe I moved it. Oh, I did move it. Shit, I moved it. Can't move it. Can't even move it. Okay, try again. Ah! See, it, the problem is I'm accidentally moving it instead of having the scroll wheel work. Okay, one more. Gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. I swear we're gonna get it. Hey, there it goes! Okay. 1345. Staff begin complaining of nausea and falling unconscious one after another. Those who can still move plan their escape from the hospital, but for unknown reasons are unable to. Though the STEM system should have been deactivated, subjects maintained brainwave synchronization with the host. 1400. He, that man, appeared. Okay. Now then, back to it. Checkpoint! Control, hide. Gotta hide in the locker, else we get murdered. And pretty brutally at that. Well, hey, buddy. Hmm. Little bit of alien isolation in here. All right, I think we can exit. Oh yes, the sneaking part. So, notice that we are leaving a trail of blood from our chainsaw gash, and he can in fact spot it and track us with it. First thing is to get by this door. <clears throat> so we have to sneak through this room without getting spotted. Oh. I guess the shit was from him seeing us. I'm not quite sure exactly how that happened, but whatevs. Let's do better. Martin, I'm guessing when you say you hated the first stage, this is the part you had in mind, right?
come see me. Shit, can't go that way. At least the blood trail faded. Where is he? Oh shit. Look at that. Go, buddy, go. Checkpoint. Oof. Go, buddy, go. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. All right. Darkness twisting me around There is nothing I can do And this world doesn't spin It just turns itself Evil within. All right. And there we go. And look at that. Magically, our chainsaw wound is healed. All it took was an elevator ride. And we can sprint and everything. We're all better. You need to get out. There's nothing to find inside.
something very strange happening. I would say not. Just a few bumps, we're fine. 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 We will be once we're fine. far away. Fine. A little further and we'll be fine. 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 Hi, strange drink. Fine. There we go. <clears throat> Chapter 1 clear. Yes, I'll save the game. Seems like a good choice. I'll save it in a new slot. Chapter 2, Remnants. I'll be right back. While we have this pause going on, I'm going to use the restroom. I'll level with you. Only dying once in that stealth sequence is easily the best I've done. I've played through it a few times, but... Alright, next chapter. Chapter 2, Remnants. <clears throat> Cutscene.
arrows. Ah, yes, the hub. Bodies found. Bodies found in Lakeside Town. Cause of death remains a mystery. The Crimson Post. More than a dozen mutilated bodies found in village of Elk River. Several residents unaccounted for. And we got a bottle of green Whoa. gel. Anybody there? Alright. What do you mean getting the to gel in the toilet? Uh not on the not on the first run, is there? No, in this first in this first appearance you can only grab the the one bottle. Yeah. Cause you have to go through the iteration of cutscenes. Examine. Roaches. Gotta love it. Are we awake? Is everyone else all right? The city. Whatever are you talking about? You are the only soul here. Right now. Oh yeah, it is glimmering. Oh, but he can't. Come on. There he goes. All right, good. I guess we can go ahead and pick it up. All right. I thought you could only... I thought you had to go straight to the chair and use your first hundred in the, like... Enabling cutscene, but all right. Can't open that. Hi, Steven. Hello. You missed chapter one, the stealth sequence where we got a uh, got away from the executioner. No, we can't upgrade. I know you can't upgrade until the second time you're in here. I know you can't. What the hell is going on here? A hospital. This place is necessary for you. You're always welcome here. I've been hospitalized. I'm afraid I cannot answer that. Please, sign in here. Without signing in, there is no way to ensure your future memories. Okay, we can't go that way yet. Can we pick up a newspaper? No, it's empty. Anything at the bulletin board? <coughs> No, it's empty too. All right, save. This is where we save. Yes, we'll overwrite. This way, please. Smells like medicine. Oh yeah, here we go. This is fun. Now there's something you can very easily miss here. Before sitting down, duck behind the chair. All right. Please. Get map fragment one. Relax. Please, have a seat. There's one collectible we can't get until a new game plus. In a new game This is for your own good. Green gel can be used to upgrade individual skill parameters. Unlock, enter, upgrade. So the um 
J just as an FYI, we can't quite get all the collectibles in one playthrough. You have to do a new game plus, and when you do the last one, if you found a, everything else in your first playthrough, will be on the bulletin board in this segment. There now. You see? All better. Lady, am I going crazy? A little bit. Two remnants. Kidman, where are you? All right. Connolly. Syringe. The origin of the medication in this travel syringe is unknown, but it provides moderate health restoration. Accessing the inventory. V. Press. Access inventory. Equip or use items and set shortcuts. So as you can see, we start with very low health, so we're going to go ahead and use this syringe. I guess we did have a chainsaw gash open our leg, and then we were in a car crash, but... <laughs> There's 200 green gel. There's lots of stuff that's hard to find out here in the dark. 300 green gel here behind the ambulance. There's a match up here behind this tree, which is ridiculously hard to find. Now we'll follow the blood trail. Melee attacks. F. Attack enemies or objects barehanded or with a melee weapon. It's telling us that because we can break open this box and get more green gel. <clears throat> if you want to head towards the light you can see over here. And pick up the lantern to move on. Hey. Bad idea, bro. Checkpoint. Oh, yes, look at that. Shinji Mikami putting in the nod to the original Resident Evil here. We have gun. Rough. Can I up the game sound? Possibly. 
Let me see. Uh, it's maxed out. We've done that in OBS before, but the no, I've got it maxed everywhere it is. This is as loud as it can get. I'm sorry. Anyway, with him dead, we got green gel here. Handgun ammo, yes please. And those were empty. Now Windows volume is maxed out too. It's I guess it's just a quiet game. The, uh, r relatively, anyway. I can turn my, I guess I can, I can turn my voice volume down a little bit. As is, um, can you guys still hear me? Okay. We'll see, we'll see about this. I don't usually talk over anything in the game anyway, but it's all good. Using the lantern. Q to use the lantern. Gel here on the left. Whoa. Were you warning me about this? You are Leslie, right? I'm a police officer. Maybe I should help you. Should help you? Shit. How am I gonna get you to a hospital? Hospital. 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 Hospital! What the fuck? Disarming traps. Hold space to disarm trap. need to be crouched. Item acquired. Trap parts acquired. Trap parts are needed to craft bolts for the agony crossbow. They are used in the inventory screen. Sprint. Shift, hold, sprint, consume stamina. <coughs> Using matches, approach a fallen enemy and press C to burn them, destroying them completely. Burning consumes one match. If the same enemies are close enough, they can all be burned with one match. Other things besides corpses and enemies can also be burned. There's green gel there. And we can also get up and smash the box. No goodies. <laughs> Oh, yes. It's her. There's more gel here. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, November 2004. Finally got my gold badge, Detective Sebastian Castellanos. I like the sound of that. Seems a long time coming, but they say that I'm one of the fastest ever to rise through the ranks. 
Can't wait to get started. I know that I can do more good as a detective than I ever could as a beat cop. Plus, I don't have to wear that damned uniform anymore. The pay bump doesn't hurt either. KCPD needs all the help they can get. There's a seemingly disproportionate amount of crime these days. Crimson City is my home, and it's my job to protect it. Read that, the mirror breaks. Uh, shit. Which means we have a passage back to our hub. What the? Back here again. I must be losing it. Now we can run around at normal speed. We already got the green gel out of there. Doors haven't changed. That mirror is now an exit. I don't know if that was a bad dream, or this is. Whatever is the matter. Oh, there she is. All right. <laughs> Newspaper. Serial killer on the loose. Victims had surgery performed on them. Police believe slaying's the work of a serial killer, missing persons in several local communities. Leslie. Missing. Leslie Withers. Psychiatric patient Leslie Withers disappeared from a locked room at Beacon Mental Hospital. Alright. Now we're able to buy upgrades with our green gel. The first upgrade I want to get is... Critical Chance for the Revolver. Because at zero, we can't ever get a critical headshot. The first upgrade gives us a 10% critical chance, which is pretty freaking good. I'm going to cap that at uh, 20%. That's good enough, I think. But We're now able to get critical headshots, which is extremely handy. Yeah, mat match stock is definitely on the list. I know that. I know that too, Martin. I've done I've done some research. All right, we'll save. We haven't really done anything. Well, that's not true. We killed our first enemy. And we even bought an upgrade. The second upgrade I like to get is to uh double my sprint time for evasions, or not double it, but raise it to level two. I'm gonna see how much gel that costs so I know when to bother coming back. 3,000. Okay. Good to know. There's another freaking work email. Sorry, just give me a second. All right, off we go. Onward. Do 
You can see Leslie goes through that door. And then an enemy starts banging on the door. Keep your lantern off. We want to sneak kill as many enemies as we can. It doesn't use up any ammo. And it's a guaranteed one shot if you manage to sneak up on them. Sneak kills. Control space. Sneak kill instantly. Kill enemies who are unaware of you from behind. Shit. Well, that sucked. Yeah, no, fuck that noise. Like, we didn't even manage to sneak kill the guy in the sneak kill tutorial. That's dumb. Let's do better. Let's not suck. Head pop's pretty sweet. Yeah, the only the, the reason I upgrade revolver critical first is because you start off with a zero percent critical chance, which is terrible. Like you want to at least have a shot at it. If I can get him now while he's still banging on the door. Let's try that. Boom! There we go. That's the stuff. Hey, he dropped a syringe! Alright. We're gonna use that one too. That'll that should max out our health. Well, close. There's no need to burn his corpse, but... Leslie's still running away. Space! Climb over obstacles and through windows. Contextual actions. Alright. Ordinary key. We need as many of those as we can find. Alright. Make sure you have everything before you enter this gate, because you can't backtrack once you go through this checkpoint. I'm not sure you could, Steven. That sounds great. There's a syringe on the ground there. I need to remember to pick up after the cutscene. Hey, are you guys from around here? I don't know where. That is some fucked up shit. Oh, I could have sworn it would... I saw a syringe. I guess it's just bottles. My bad. Oh, 
Okay. I am being hunted for, but he's not sure where I am. That's good, because I want to stealth kill everybody here. Total waste of ammo to shoot anything in this chapter. Alright. Let him move away from me. Fuck you. No item. That's too bad. We got this guy too. And bag him as well. No drop, oh well. Lakeside Town Note. When did they put a lighthouse on the lake? Has it always been there? That circling light passes over me, passes through me. I feel like it takes something away each time. I can't remember what it was, though. <clears throat> Don't worry, folks. Just grabbing some caffeine. Alright. Let's go on in. No, energy drink. We're using the big guns today. Five matches. We can only carry five at a time to start, which is not great, but... Here's a syringe. Now this one we'll hold on to, because we would waste some of the healing if we used it now, even though we're not technically maxed out. And over here is another trap we can dismantle. For trap parts, which we always want as many of as we can get. <laughs> oh yeah, there are lots of mechanical improvements over Resident Evil 4. I just think the story winds up being nonsensical and the levels aren't as flawlessly designed and the combat is not as smooth. You know, that but there are definitely tons of improvements. It feels like a sequel to Resident Evil 4, like a proper one, which got some things right and some things not, like you'd expect. <clears throat> yeah, no, Ruvik is not a compelling antagonist at all. I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. Mm-hmm. All right. Alright, keep the lantern off and note that there's an enemy standing in the middle of the road and facing this way, so we need to be careful. Hey, checkpoint! I love that.
Don't step into a trap or dog poop. <laughs> Noted. I'll do my best. So I know if you go all the way around, you can get into this house from this side. get a feel for this patrol. Get that syringe. I hear him. Leave that torch for later. Torches are great. You can use them to instantly kill any enemy in melee combat. It's pretty awesome. Burns them to death. Okay. Now, the one we saw in the middle of the road is an easy stealth kill from this side because he doesn't move. I played this segment a bunch of times. You saw, I mean, you saw where I left off. I left off in Chapter 10. Items? Yes! Handgun ammo. Want. I should probably... Hotkey some things, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'll, put, I'll put the handgun at 1. That seems sensible enough. Mm -hmm. Now this little house he was guarding has some goodies in it. I still hear bad guys. I'm going to stay in stealth mode. Our matches are full. We can get more handgun bullets. Oh yeah, and wooden box. More handgun ammo. Hot damn. Alright, we want to head this way first. This is just goodie collection. That way is the way towards the end of the level, but we want the goodies. Hey, buddy. Get him, get him, get him. Yes! And he dropped another torch. See, this first area, first real area, I guess, it's so strongly reminiscent of the uh, the village in Resident Evil 4. Like, you can absolutely tell that's the vibe they were going for. There's Map Fragment 2. Hey, 
Hey, random green gel. Best kind. No reason to burn that corpse. Ah, uh, no items. Sad. There's a trap here. Let's disarm it. Get us some parts. Now this one... Let's go get a torch, since he's alert. This is the kind of shit torches are great for. Here, fucker. Yeah! How about that? Alright, now in the room he was in... We got... 200 green gel. And another ordinary key. Five handgun bullets. We can hide under the bed if we need to, and there's 500 green gel. Outstanding. Right, now we can track back to the main intersection. More enemies and lots of traps, so we need to stay careful. an enemy up there, so don't don't go up this main road. We'll cut back through here for now. Hey, Meerkat, how are you, buddy? Oh, I didn't actually want that. I hope no one heard that. I don't think they did. That's good. Disarming bear traps. Sneak in space to disarm. Alright. I like that tutorial message. It's pretty much like, oh, hey, there are bear traps here. Watch out. Wait till he's facing away, then we'll crawl in the window and sneak kill him. Or not. That was f fucking bogus. God damn it. All right. It 
it's not worth having to replay everything, I guess. Although I'm fucking furious that Sebastian came out of stealth mode for no reason. Like, no fucking reason. It's just like, oh! I'm gonna make a noise! Fuck you! 700 green gel. Right, one last enemy. We kinda, we, we saw him trolling around outside. You can see him over there. I think this door is actually our best bet, so let's disarm the trap. I think at this point I need to use one of the syringes. Uh, where did he go? Okay, I see him. When his back is turned, we'll roll up. For fuck's sake, Sebastian. Quit coming out of stealth mode for no damn reason. There we go. Alright, got him. Hey, he dropped green gel. Favorite. Okay. So you can see three bear traps along this path. Let's disarm all three. I believe that's all the enemies. There's another trap to disarm in here. Let's take care of that. We got green gel in here. 300 of it. I think I missed one other bear trap back here. I think there are a total of two. Back here on the left. I only got one. I know there's another trap over here somewhere. But where? That is the question. There's a wire trap. I'll go ahead and disarm that too, but it's not what I'm looking for. I'm positive there's another bear trap. I want all the parts. I think it's actually, like, really close to where the first one was. There's a, there's a chance I'm wrong, but I really don't think so. Oh yeah, good call. That'll help, won't it? I guess it could be further... Ah, there it is! Boom. Oh, 
Okay. So these guys here are going to come to life, but I believe we can just match them. I have spare matches in back to pick up to overstock me anyway. More gel. Outstanding. Before moving on, let's go pick up... Let's go re-max out our matches. Back in the first house. Because <clears throat> I did leave a match down there. Yeah, but I, I didn't leave any bullets behind anywhere, Martin. I never hit. I didn't max out my bullet count. I did spend bullets, which upsets me. Because Sebastian just decided to pop out of stealth mode for no damn reason. But... Only one fuck up. I'm not going to replay the whole thing. No, I've picked up all the bullets. I have 11 shots now, which... isn't ideal, but it's not terrible. I used three bullets. So... Close to the end of chapter two. Oops, wrong way. We're able to do a lot of sneaking and stealth killing in chapter three as well, and then that kind of falls by the wayside. And you can still do it occasionally and save ammo, but after that the game gets really, really action heavy. Which is fine. That sounds really good, Carefree. Okay. So we do get a checkpoint here, thankfully. You can see a whole horde of them out there by that fire. We don't want to mess with those. But we do want to get to this little building back here off the main path. Easily missed collectible back here. We have a syringe, and we have map fragment three. And now we actually want to circle back to the main path. My sound isn't working? Is that true for everyone else? I think that's just you, Carefree. Sorry. There's another little cabin up here that has some green gel in it.
There's the horde. We want every little bit of green gel we can get. That's a lot. I think to get past them, I actually want to go to the left again. I mean, s largely sneak around them and then get to a bridge. And then it's a sprint to the end of the chapter. Always fun, right? lantern off, keep crouched. Trust me, you don't want to fight these guys. You're not equipped for it. Oh good, I'm glad you can hear me. Alright, so. Kind of want to creep up here. Now we've got a we have to circle out to get onto the bridge. Which is going to let him see us. It's time to run. Now here's the tip. Better get out of here. Don't ever let your stamina gauge empty. Stop sprinting just before it empties out, or you will be sorry. God damn it! Not bad for a dude whose leg got chainsawed in chapter one. That was pretty fucking acrobatic, I must say. And chapter two is done. Of course we'll save. Next is Claws of the Horde, chapter three. The medical kit heals you and also slightly increases your maximum health. Hey -o. Ooh, that's terrible, Martin. Now before you move, Again, a la Resident Evil 4. Once the cutscene ends, just aim the gun and shoot one of the crows. You can only shoot one, but you'll get a random item for it. He... We got a grenade. This stick grenade is a relic from nearly a hundred years ago. How it ended up in private hands is unknown. Yes, we do have stinging nettles here. I am fully aware of how nasty they are. Lots of boxes to break. I am maxed out on syringes and my health is full. So I suppose we'll just leave that one. Smash the boxes. What is it wanting me to burn? Oh, the crow's body? That would be crazy. Absolute waste of match. Mm. And cap this crow, too. Doesn't seem like he's going to drop anything, though. Oh, no, he did. He very much did. Handgun ammo, and we got matches here. All right. 
Now we have to use a match to burn this pile of bodies. I suppose that's why they give us three here. So that we can burn them away. I do like that we can pick up pieces of item stacks. That's pretty clutch. Okay, I can I can hear enemy noises. So let's stealth mode. Oh yes. We're gonna spend Shit. basically the entire chapter here, but we got a checkpoint, so that's good. Not a destructible one. What was that? KRD Null. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. It's good to have you here, my friend. Welcome. All right. Go into this open house on the left to start things off. Hope for random items in the boxes. Yes, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the axe until I need it. Oh. I'm not sure what I just picked up, but <laughs> something. Another grenade. Sweet. All right, now back here, make sure you're sneaking because somewhere there is a bomb. They're tougher to disarm, but green gel. And hey, we've capped 3,000, so I'm ready to upgrade again next time I visit the hub. <clears throat> Bombs are difficult to disarm but you get two parts for managing to do so. Space, stop the needle. Blue success, red failure. Stopping the needle in the blue zone within one rotation will disarm the trap. Disarming the trap will heal trap parts. Whew. I hate the bombs. They're, it's very tense disarming them. Got green gel back here. I guess we're not going that way. That just goes back into the same house. As does that. And there's actually no way forward, so I suppose we just need to go back through this house for the moment. Let's do that. I don't want to go upstairs just yet. If memory serves, that triggers stuff I'd rather not deal with just yet. Let's head over to this little cabin. Here in the right part of the entrance area. Oh, yeah. 
hanging body, another syringe, and 300 green gel. Ooh, safe hub music. Favorite sound. If you have access to the save hub, you can cheese the stealth kills. Like, every time you kill an enemy, you can go back and save. It's cheesy, but I'm absolutely willing to do it, so... Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, December 2004. First day as a detective. My new partner, Myra Hansen, is a real firecracker. Tenacious and no-nonsense, my kind of woman. But I've got to watch it around her. She almost caught me checking out her ass today. I save scum opening the lockers? No, because there are, um... Aren't there enough ordinary keys to eventually open every locker anyway? Now, also in this room is, uh, Map Fragment 4. I wanted to make sure I got that before I popped into the mirror. All right, here we are. You should find this useful. Oh yeah. She opens up the way. Let's get the newspaper. Serial killings continue. Police baffled by cause of death. How can there be zero trace of the killer? More bodies found near Elk River community. Residents feel trapped in their homes. This way, please. And on missing persons. Missing. KCPD officer Oscar Connolly. Disappeared while on patrol. Patrol car found abandoned on the outskirts of town. Now nah, I just kind of systematically open the lockers because everything ends up being useful. Where are you taking me? You don't talk much. So we have two keys right now. We have all these lockers to eventually open. Detective Castellanos, do you have a key like this? That key will allow you to open this door. All right, so there's two syringes. The contents are yours. Please, come back whenever you need to. All right. Well, we got a bunch of spare syringes. That's nice. Now, over here in this room, there's the map of Crimson City where we place the map fragments. You can see he's already placed the four that uh, we found so far. This map is as fragmented as the city itself. Maybe some good will come from restoring it. All right. <clears throat> All right, my next upgrade is going to be sprint time.
that extra second makes a massive, massive difference in a crunch. All right. We'll take maximum sprint time up to four seconds. But the three second sprint just, it really isn't enough to get away from enemies in a crunch. Now, Martin, I'm gonna turn to inventory upgrades. Because you're right, that's a high priority as well. Our inability to carry stuff is just brutal. We'll save here and then we're going to start save scumming because there's a lot of hairy stuff in this area. Actually, the first stock upgrade I want is handgun ammo. I just want to see how much that costs. So I know when to come back and upgrade again. Yeah, that extra second makes a huge difference. So if I go to stock, I just need a thousand. For my next upgrade. All right. I don't know, if you listen to him talk, I would say he smokes a lot. Alright, now let's head back out to reality. Alright. Let's see. You want to crouch here? There are two bombs in this room. Go ahead and disarm them. And then I might just go ahead and save again. Don't at me. Oh, I guess I'll search the rest of the room first. Two matches, but we're full on those. Five hundred green gel. Okay, well now I am gonna save scum because I can afford my next upgrade. Heh! <laughs> so there. These bugs do damage. I'm not seeing it, but it's good to know, I suppose. Thank you for the heads up. You've been expected. All right. We're going to upgrade handgun ammo stock, then matches stock, then syringes stock, in that order. Right, for matches, I just need 500. Well, we'll be back here soon. I was hoping I was hoping a stock upgrade filled you up, but it doesn't. Oh well. It's all good. Alright, we're gonna start dealing with enemies very soon. But um We're able to sneak past I think I think you can get through this whole level except for the the boss doing all stealth kills, so that's obviously the goal we're going to strive for. Handgun ammo. Excellent. Ooh. 
who's there? No, don't shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm a doctor. Marcelo Jimenez. You were in the ambulance before it crashed, right? Yes, we're lucky to be alive. Have you seen anyone else? My patient, Leslie. I saw him running up ahead, but... But? Come this way. Quietly, mind you. All right. Well, let's follow the guy. Have a look for yourself. Those things chased me all the way into the village. Me too. They're all over the place. Leslie went through that gate. Good lord. There are too many to shoot our way through. One of us could try to lure them away while the other gets the gate open. You're the one with the gun. If you say so. Okay, hold on. operated if I'm to pass through. Alright, so we gotta work this crank. Alright. It's enemy time. So we wanna stay quiet. Over here! Here! Hey! Over here! That's right! This way! So he baits the enemies, that which old is... That guy's gonna get himself killed. A bold move, I have to say. So you wanna get to this second room and get under the bed. And we got a checkpoint. Outstanding. So you can see we got enemies. The enemies are live. We want to do stealth kills. Well, that fucking sucked. Why the hell did he... Nah, fuck that noise. We're loading the checkpoint. It's like he's turned around. Oh, just kidding. He's not turned around. <laughs> The stream's frozen. Uh, I think that's just you. Can someone else confirm? Yeah, Martin, that's just you. Yeah, I'm not showing any dropped frames or anything, so... Are they now? I guess they're not spawning. They're not respawning again the way I'd expect. Being life grand. Alright, well, we got matches there. There's 300 green gel. We can already get back and upgrade our match stock again. Which I want to go ahead and do, but enemies have... Well, enemies are live, and they may have appeared between us and the save room, so we need to be careful. 
Very, very careful indeed. Yeah, there's something downstairs. There he is. Did you see me? Can't tell. Maybe. So you can see, some of them even have guns now. I do want to make that torch available. did drop a torch, which will be handy if I can't sneak kill this guy with the gun. I need to figure out where he is. it is. Come here, butthole. Or gel. Good. Raise my match stock here. The next thing I want to do is my syringe stock. So we'll check how much that costs. Seven matches. That's handy. Oh, and I... I totally forgot... to look how much a syringe upgrade costs. Let's look at that, too. 2,500. All right. We'll be back here after we have 2,500 gel to spend. Don't forget, enemies are live now, so we need to be nice and quiet moving around. Well, not really. We cleared this house already. After the arrival of the bad guys. And as we move back into this area, the enemies didn't even spawn like they did the first run, so I'm pretty worried they're going to attack again. Let's get the matches out of this room. Now that we can carry them. Anything in this room? Looks like just hiding places.
Okay. What the heck? Okay. How do I back out? Space examine. Okay, I'm done examining. Let me out, please. What the hell? Oh, good God. I mean, I guess it's a good thing I just saved. Jesus. <laughs> Best port ever. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I tell you, we just, this is child's play coming off of Homecoming <laughs> in terms of <laughs> glitches and shitty porting. But the, uh, I mean, we got good stuff. We got disappearing enemies, senselessly getting stuck in a window. There's some pretty good shit going on here. I think all I did was pick up matches. Back to stealth. We're now, um, I believe we're upstairs in the first house we checked out. See, there's trap to disarm here. Let's do that. There's that axe. I'll grab that, because it doesn't um, give off light or make me less visible or anything. I think... I really thought there was an enemy in here. I guess not. Well, okay. I guess this is open now. Yep. Okay. There's a sniper up there, so we can't just advance through this field. Like we might want to. I hear somebody. Where is he? Okay. 
Okay, well, we've circled up. So this first half is basically clear. Wine or beer for later on? I mean, it depends what you're in the mood for. Those are both phenomenal drinks. I would, I, I, I don't think you can go wrong with either, to be honest. All right, we got two bear traps here. Disarm them. I feel like relo reloading the checkpoint somehow like deleted a lot of the enemies that were supposed to spawn. It's behaving very strangely. There were I remember there being a lot more enemies out here. That guy drops gel. Okay, we'll we'll uh we'll pick it up when we get in there. I believe this guy comes to life, so we'll burn him. We'll hold on to our axe. Handgun ammo. Good, good, good. And I know I've got matches sitting back in the uh, safe hub building. So, yeah, it seems like there really aren't many enemies. A lot... Reloading the checkpoint just seems to have deleted a lot of the enemies that were supposed to spawn. Get our match stock back to full after torching him. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about, like, the, uh, I'm talking pretty specifically about the two that I reloaded because they spotted me, and then they just weren't there. Torch there. I'm gonna leave it for now. Keep my axe. We got green gel here. So you can see the sniper up there. Yeah, I know. I know. We're don't worry, Martin. We're going to we're going to explore everything. We're not going to miss any goodies. This is me. Come on. Send here first. That's all. All right, we got more matches here. That's good. Well, it's a pretty impossible to get everything with the stock limitations they put on you. Handgun ammo. Love it. Oh boy, a bomb. Smashable boxes. Hey, random green gel! 300 random green gel. That is awesome. Uh, another bomb. I hate these. I've got enough spare syringes, I'm not too terribly worried, but... You want all those trap parts, too. More random green gel! 
500 random green gel. That's awesome. I love it. Alright, let's climb this ladder. Oh, you haven't finished the game either, Martin? That surprises me. We got two parts. We got two matches. We got 1,000 green gel. I can upgrade my syringe stock. And I got a key to boot. Alright. It's time to go back to the safe hub again. So we can already afford our next upgrade. You can see that guy chained up in there. He didn't really think he was just going to be gone after we got away from him in Chapter 1, did you? Right, so we got a fresh key. And we can afford my next upgrade, so... Back to the save hub we go. Sorry we're backtracking so much, but I... I mean, I like to... Pick stuff up as I'm... or get upgrades as I'm able. First things first, I suppose. We got another key. Maybe it'll be gel. It is! 5,000! Yeah, boy. All right, so let's hit. Let's upgrade our syringe stock. And carry three. Now, the next thing I want to do is uh, I want to double revolver critical to 20%. Which I can go ahead and do. That's awesome. And after that, I think I want to do revolver accuracy. Which I can go ahead and do as well. Awesome. Okay, next upgrade after that is going to be shotgun critical. And I don't have the shotgun yet, so we'll hold off on buying another upgrade for now. All right. Hooray. Back to where we left off. And yeah, no more upgrades until we get the shotgun, which happens soon. My next, the next purchases on my list are shotgun critical and um, shotgun shell stock.
Tater. How are you, buddy? Okay, so up these steps. Beware the bear trap. Another part. Outstanding. Now we can kick the ladder down, which opens up another access point, but we're not going to descend yet. Okay, sounds good. It's only 10.52 here, so we can probably start drinking when you get back, Tater, as is tradition. Random green gel, best kind. Bonus. More green gel! More upgrades. All right. And we are full on matches, which is fine. All right, let's head on down. Pigs! All right. I believe, yes, there's an ax here. And you can see another bomb over in the corner. Do I have green alcohol for the occasion? No, I didn't think that far ahead. I mean, I didn't know I was going to be playing this until, you know, right before we started. Then again, if I need to disarm bombs, I might need to not drink. I don't think, I don't think my reflexes could take that hit and still manage that stuff. We'll see. Bear trap out here. And a chest we could open. Opening chests. Open a chest all the way to reveal its contents. If the chest is trapped, opening it only part way will disarm the trap. So it is trapped. You can see it in there. There, we disarmed it. We got an explosive bolt, an explosive warhead for the agony crossbow, which will detonate when enemies approach. It can be placed on things like floors and walls and even enemies. We got four shotgun shells, and we got two parts. Excellent. Oh, Martin, I, I know, I know. You're not talking to an idiot here. <laughs> 300 green gel back there. That is lovely. Alright, so there are enemies over here that will come to life. But I believe... We can burn the first one, and we can axe the other. That got us a checkpoint. I'm going to go ahead and run up here and uh, re-up on matches. There are tons of matches lying around, which is good. But... No, no, Martin, you're fine. I, appreci I appreciate the advice for sure. Stay down for now. 
Got a wire trap on the wall. Disarm that. Let's go stealth kill this mofo. After we also get the bear trap right behind him. And we can actually take his axe, which is pretty great. We're gonna want that. We want that key. Okay, we'll pick the axe back up. Okay, we aggroed the sniper. We ventured out just a little too far picking up that key. That's all right. Two parts here on the roof. Fun stuff. There's green gel down here that you can see. sure why that window just broke. That's kind of crazy. Well, fuck you. I don't mind just trading up for your torch. There's my critical. Wasn't ideal, but it was okay. There, we got her with the spike trap. Let me make sure we really got her. Alright, good. She did! And we got our handgun ammo back. Not bad. Got them. That's good. Wasn't bad. I didn't take damage, which is huge. Alright, green gel. Matches, but we're full. Ah, yes. Harpoon Bolt. A powerful harpoon for the Agony Crossbow, which will impale opponents. No, but you get a rifle later. 
and back here is the ever so important agony crossbow this collapsible crossbow has a strong bowstring which appears capable of launching heavy projectiles I'm going to go ahead and stealth kill the sniper. So we can get out behind him. Nice and easy. That checkpoints us. That's no problem. We want to go back inside this house because downstairs we can also get the shotgun. You can tell they're gearing us up for the switch to this really being an action game. Start doling out weapons and whatnot. Right inside the silver case. We get the shotgun. This pump-action shotgun has a short barrel and a wide choke, sending pellets over a short but wide area. All right. Got a trap to disarm here. He's watching. We can't leave. Interesting. Now, um, we do, I almost missed it, but out here on the walkway, you can see another statue hanging from the wire. I want to shoot it and get the key off the ground. There it is, got two keys. And more enemies are gonna spawn when I try to get back to the save hub to use these keys and upgrade my shotgun, so. It's just a bottle. I can hear one inside here. Leave that be. Oh, here they come. I knew more enemies spawned. Backtrack a bit. Actually, undercover. See where they go. So we've got one going up those stairs.
can't see where the other one went. There he is. Looks like he's just kind of sticking close to the cart. Oh, and there's another one. Shit, 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 there are three. Got it. Did he drop anything? He did not. Now let's get the one outside. Then we'll go chase the one that went upstairs. Time to use that torch. Good reason we saved it. All right, we got everybody. Let's head back to the safe hub. Use our keys and buy some upgrades. All right, keys first. We have two. The worrying type, I see. She makes fun of you for safe scumming, which I think is kind of fun. Mm. Oops, wrong, wrong, wrong. Five thousand gel. And shotgun shells. Oh, we're full for now. Let's max out our syringes. Shotgun critical and shotgun shell stock. Shotgun. We will raise its critical to 10. And then we will raise our shotgun ammo capacity up to 6.
Well, let me, before I leave, I wrote down everything I wanted to do. I think next. <laughs> yeah. So the next upgrades I want are um, harpoon bolt damage and harpoon bolt stop. So let's do that. So if you go to the agony crossbow. So you can upgrade the crossbow itself. Oh, Agony Bolts. You get a whole new uh, upgrade category. So I want to upgrade the uh, damage on the Harpoon Bolts. No, I want to do that second. I want my Harpoon Bolt stock first. Then I want damage on the Harpoon Bolts. Okay, those are kind of the uh, big ones that I want to get right away and in the right order. I'm, uh, let's see, I do eventually want to get my revolver critical to level 3. That's a big ask with 9,000 gel. I want to get my handgun ammo to level 3. That'll take 2,500. I want maximum sprint to level 4. That's at 6,000. Um, I, I eventually want harpoon bolts all the way to level 5. That's a pretty big one. I want my handgun accuracy at level 3. I can actually already afford that, so... I'll go ahead and grab that, because I've actually been missing when I try to take shots. <clears throat> I do eventually want to max that out. I want shotgun ammo at level 3. I want matches at level 3. I think I'll do that next. Yeah, we'll do matches to level 3 next. Yeah. Anyway, plenty of upgrades to buy, of course, but we're doing well. We're doing well. I'm pretty happy with the way things are going so far. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of getting hungry, and I don't have a car, and Tiffany is gone with the car that we do have, and so I'm uh, wondering how to get lunch, or if I just need to, like, I'll, I'll probably end up needing to, like, take a break and go fix myself something, but... All right, that's good for now. We just got some substantial upgrades, which is nice. I should, I should hotkey my other weapons. Creating agony bolts. Trap parts can be used to make more of any agony bolt you possess. Now well, I will put the shotgun at number two. I'll put the agony crossbow at number three. Oh yes, before I leave. Go ahead and fill my shotgun clip or shotgun stock like 
so. See, I like having spare ammo sitting in here, so I don't, uh, I don't typically save scum for the gel. I think our upgrade pace is pretty good. Can order a greasy pizza. Eh, if I ordered a pizza, I would probably order something lamely healthy, like a gluten-free thin crust. It would offend all of you just to see it. And there's one building left that we haven't explored. This one here with the double doors. I'm sure you were able to hear the enemies inside. We want that stealth kill. See the enemy in there. Boom! Roasted. And he dropped gel. Which, of course, we want. Gel here on the table. Hmm. There's another harpoon bolt. Two more enemies to deal with. One standing at the window here. You probably saw there's also one patrolling the walkway outside. We'll murder it, too. And he is unfortunately not dropping anything. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, now we can loot the house. Should be pretty easy. How did you get it open so quickly? You're welcome to give it a try. Please, time is of the essence. It is imperative we find Leslie before anything should happen to him. Okay, we got stuff here, but let's, uh, let's loot the house first. Got shotgun shells here, which, of course, we're fully stocked on.
Handgun ammo. There's a spare syringe. Good to know. I don't know why I have my light on. <laughs> 500 green gel here, so we're ready to get another upgrade. Here's the med kit. We won't use it until we need to heal. The large syringe in this medical kit provides major health restoration, but with temporary side effects. There are a limited number of them, but they also increase health a little with each use. Alright, so we're going to wait until we're seriously damaged and then use that. And... Experiment number four. Subject numbers four through thirteen. Brainwave activity diminished, but synchronization achieved. Subjects should begin experiencing a shared consciousness. Previous trials indicated rapid deterioration of consciousness. Their minds became an exquisite mass, an amalgam of mental carrion. I'll have to connect myself if I want to experience their terror before it diminishes. Now burning the enemies, it's good for enemies that are still live. And sometimes burning things makes them drop extra items, but... If it's an enemy that you already killed, there's never any point in burning it. It's when you find corpses that you have to think, do I burn or not burn? Alright, last little goodies. Martin will be pleased. We're finally going to go loot the watchtower. What was that? Oh, bottles. Gel from the corpse that fell down. 300 of it, to be precise. And let's climb up the ladder. Okay. You can see there's a statue here on the left as we climb. We'll need to shoot it when we get to the top. Another agony bolt. Flash bolt. A warhead for the Agony Crossbow, which can blind opponents with a powerful flash. Blinded opponents can be killed from any direction with a sneak kill. We got two parts. We got a thousand green gel. And... Got the key. Pick up the key. Let's go save and upgrade again. And then it'll be boss time.
Hey, Duxenstein, how are you? Good to have you here, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Oh, well, we're started by the upgrade thing, but we should go use our key first in, case it, in, type, I see. in case it gives us gel. Hey! Don't at me. I got another key, all right? Gel, all right. Another 5,000. All right. I need to, <clears throat> okay, I should, uh, no, DBZ, you do get enough, if you, if you find all the keys, it's enough to open all the lockers, but the keys are easy to miss, all right. Let me think. At this point, I kind of want to hold out for critical level 3 on the revolver. Because suddenly I'm really close to it. Well, no, I'm just kidding. I'm already at level 3. I don't need it higher than that. What am I smoking? Let me go to handgun ammo. I'll take that to level 3. Done with that one. I think I'll focus on maximum sprint next. I get it to level four. So next upgrade comes at level at 6,000 gel. Well, actually... No, I take that back. Let me, um, let me look at some others. I don't want to see up. Let me, I'm going to go ahead and get matches to level three. That's an important one, but that's where I leave it. Now, I like to put, uh, Harpoon bolts go all the way to level 5. I like flash bolts at level 3 eventually. I'm going to raise harpoon bolts to level... Well... No, nah, I'm going to raise shotgun stock to level 3, actually. That's good enough. Now I'll pick up a couple of extra shells. My inventory upgrades are close to done. I need to upgrade Agony Bolts one more time. Uh, let's get a couple more shotgun shells. We'll save and we'll pick up some matches. And... Well, it's just, uh, Harpoon Bolt's max stat, like, they aren't that great, although the impaling functionality is pretty cool. They aren't that great until you get them to level 5, but then when, they, when they're at level 5, and they start burning enemies, as well as doing a boatload of damage, they're, at that point, yeah, they're pretty amazing. All right. Now, I know I left a bunch of matches around. There's some there.
Tiffany's home. That's much earlier than expected. It's probably a good thing, though. Let's go. Ha! Ah, perhaps. Well, like, ev everything that needs upgrading, I try to get it at least above level one. That's kind of first. Like, because usually, like, I, I get the baseline critical upgrades as fast as I can, because zero critical chance sucks. The shotgun's critical chance I usually leave at two, at level two, because it's mainly used for crowd control. I don't really use it to actually pick off enemies that often. Oh, good lord. Three emails, three Twitch messages. I'm sorry, guys. My phone just exploded on me out of nowhere. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I hate this stuff, but... Almost done. Almost clear. Almost clear. Yes, yes. Okay. There we go. Good. No, I, I, I leave handgun crit at level 3. A 20% chance is generally enough. Where else did I leave matches? Upstairs in the barn, I think. That might trigger the boss fight. I need to be careful. Yeah, let's hop through here first. I'm pretty sure I left some in here. Or did I? God, now I can't even remember. It doesn't really matter. I know I'll find more. And there are definitely some upstairs in his shack, so... Ah, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and fight him. Oh, I should hotkey my, uh, grenades. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try... Oh wow, more gel. Okay, this little bit of backtracking is actually proving to be really helpful. Well, I know... Okay, I think the other matches I'm thinking of are actually upstairs in his happy little barn. Ah! Well, there's one. There are more boxes I somehow missed. Even more. Because I just suck at life, apparently. Right, let's get up here. Yes, I did get to that shack, Barton. Alright, now we got matches over here. Then we can go start the fight. We're going to go maximum cheese for this fight. All that prep work aside, we're just going to use the, uh... We're just going to use the spike traps. Down and out we go. Alright, so the hallway trap in this building is the best place to lure him. Come on, boyo. Oh. I have to examine the gate before he breaks loose. <laughs> I forgot that. 
forgot that little detail. Great. There's got to be something that'll get through this. Maybe a chainsaw or something. Here we go. Now it's time. And he's loose. Oh, come on! Go through the window, you moron! Jesus! Why will he not jump through the window like he's supposed to? There we go. Oh, come on! Well, that's fucking ridiculous. Good lord! Okay, so my med kit just didn't work. I'm sorry, I'm pretty fucking annoyed all of a sudden. <sighs> yeah, that was fucking annoying. Alright, whatever. Oh, I don't know. Like, you guys saw me use the med kit, and then it's just like, NOPE! It's like, it, it got consumed, but it didn't do anything? What was that? That's alright. It's alright. I ain't mad. I'm pretty mad. Well, yeah, but it didn't heal me. My health just stayed low. Oh, good. You deleted the matches I left behind. That's nice. Fuck you. You undid my ladder kick. I'm sensing large amounts of fuckery and I am displeased. Alright. Whatever. Be right back. I'm going to say hi to Tiffany.
All right. Let's try again once more with feeling and less failure. All right, let's have the window open. The window we actually want in advance. Let's get those other things I uh needed. these windows, but I'll break them anyway. All right. Just help me think. Did I leave matches sitting anywhere else? I feel like maybe I did. And I'm going to save again when I'm actually ready to fight the guy. Yeah, there we go. Alright, everything's full again. I'm going to examine the gate and then save, so in case of another disaster, we don't have to make the rounds again. We can just go start the fight. Great. There's got to be something that'll get through this. Maybe a chainsaw or something. Mm -mm. All right, here we go. I'm sure the nurse is going to call me the worrying type again. Be shitty, okay? <laughs> I think Tiff is going to fix lunch and then take a nap because she woke up at 3.30 this morning. She's quite tired. And she'll be leaving us again this afternoon. All right. All right come here, asshole. Do this. I will end you. Yeah, you are absolutely screwed in this fight if you haven't upgraded your sprint time at all. on that noise. Where is he? Where is he?
Okay. okay. Now we're getting it. Fuck you, buddy! Interesting. Okay. I better hold on to this. So he drops 5,000 green gel and the chainsaw. The teeth of this old, well-worn chainsaw are caked with all sorts of things. Now, at this point, I'm going to use the med kit and boost my max health. Deal with a little hallucination. Oh, apparently, I can't get through the door. That's all right. We'll go save and upgrade, and then we'll end the chapter. All right. <laughs> yeah, I just I want to see what I can do with 5000 green gel. Then it'll be time for chapter four. Shut your mouth. All right. Let's see. I'm done there. I'm done there. I'm done there. Maximum sprint, I want two more. That costs 6,000. <laughs> 10,000 for the next Harpoon Bolt upgrade. I'll do Flash Bolt to level two. I cap them at level three. Let's see, I got shotgun ammo to level three already, which is where it lives. Need 5,000 to get Agony Bolts to level 3, and... Alright. I'm doing pretty well upgrade-wise. Let's head to Chapter 4. Uh, I actually don't, Martin. What are you talking about? All right. <clears throat> oh, with the chainsaw, we can go saw through the chain and open the gate. And that'll take us to chapter four. Do 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 do. I don't know about the Easter egg pig, no. Detective Castellanos. Leslie should be just ahead. It is imperative that we find him. Save game. 
Chapter 4, The Patient. Next chapter. Alright. Well, not going back that way. Oh, the hospice. Yes. Leslie was being treated here years ago. He'd come here thinking it was familiar and safe. You know where we are? Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, you should too. I hope his brother's not a jerk too. Green gel. Excellent. Love it. I saw something move. That's our signal to hide down here. Believe we can still stealth kill. Once we let him come down. anything? He did not. That's a shame. Now you need to do that little sequence if you want all the collectibles, because up here in the little building he came out of, there's map fragment 5, some handgun ammo, and a chest. Oh shit, you know, I forgot to open the chest where the uh, executioner came from. All that was in there was handgun ammo and shotgun shells, but I missed it. This one's rigged. Got the flashbolt. We must be going. Our grenades are full, but we got the parts, of course. We didn't miss any collectibles. I am sorry I missed that chest. Yeah, after you kill the Executioner in the last chapter, you should backtrack to the segment of the barn that he busted out of, because there's a chest you can open in there with handgun ammo and shotgun shells inside. Double random gel, nice. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, Martin. I will start doing that from this point on. I mean, it would be it. I'm full on shotgun ammo anyway, so all I really missed is the five handgun bullets. But two more green gels. If you'll just what the hell, dude? I wanted you to pick up the green gel. <laughs> oh man, this is just annoying. Get the gel! You can really tell that they were 
building this with a console in mind. It's all right, though. All right, well, matches. We're full on those. Now we can squeeze through. There's no time for fooling around. Handgun ammo. More gel. Um. Oh yeah, there's a syringe back there, but we're full on those. And a document. Villager's note. They got Norman. His cries for help just cut off. I can hear screaming every night. If I don't stay hidden, I know I'll be next. Okay. Oh, I guess the ghosts dropped to gel. That's crazy. Doesn't look like there's much we can do that way. Hey, safe hub. There we go. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, February 2005. Myra was almost killed this afternoon, shot by a suspect we were pursuing. Thank God I was there. She's going to be okay. But seeing her bleeding like that, thinking I was going to lose her without telling her how I really feel was unbearable. I think she feels the same way. There's something undeniable between us. It's against the code of conduct, but I have to let her know how I feel about her. I hope I'm not setting myself up for embarrassment. Okay. And we got safe hub. We must be going. <sighs> oh, we're in cutscene mode. You can tell because it's black and white. See how her skirt's all covered in blood? <laughs> missing patient found. Caretaker worried sick. Psychiatric patient missing since last Tuesday found hiding in photography studio. Physician Valerio Jimenez says God's will. Missing, Dr. Valerio Jimenez, owner of the Elk River Hospice, last seen driving into the city. Here's another very easy collectible to miss. Matt Fragment 6 is inside our cell in this cutscene only. So many new admissions, and not a single discharge. 
she's all covered in blood. It's creepy. Let go of me! Let go of me! Now this door is open. Let go of me! Let There's map fragment 7. Some shit happening down here. Fine, 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 fine. Do take care of yourself. And it's back to normal. Ish. Alright, I don't believe I have any keys right now. She's no longer covered in blood. That's good. Yep, nope, I've spent all my keys. We did just pick up two new map fragments. I I got the newspaper already, Martin. And the missing person's poster. Uh, let's see if I can afford any of the upgrades I currently care about. Twenty-five hundred gel. I don't think so, but we'll check. Maximum sprint needs. 6,000. I do want to raise it. I want to get harpoon bolts to level 5. That needs 10,000. I want my agony bolt stock at level 3. That takes 5,000. And I want my flash bolts to level 3, and that takes 4,500. <coughs> Those are all the most crucial ones, so... I suppose we'll just save and hit the restroom and keep on going. Alright, Steven, sounds good. I'll be right back. Maya is silent except when the chair appears. <laughs> mm. Alright, back to it. There's no time for pulling around. I really need you to shut your mouth, dude. You are annoying me. Alright, snag this axe now. Why on earth did you use the axe on, like, the good guy? That doesn't make any sense. There were hiding places. <laughs> 
enemies can be alerted by excessive noise, such as when doors are kicked open. Damn, I thought there was a hiding place around here. Is it over? Well, now I'm going to have to manage a sneak kill. Because Sebastian decided to use his axe on the harmless woman on the fire pit. Instead of the enemy that was trying to kill him. Ain't life grand. I can also use harpoon bolts on this guy. If I don't manage the stealth kill. It's definitely my preference. Got him. All right, much better. Much mo' better. Good. gel on the ground in here. And here in the back. We must find my patience, Leslie. We've got two harpoon bolts, which are actually full on, so. I can feel free to use those. Don't leave me behind. Time to actually go into the the hospice. Help! Help! What's wrong with this kid? Wait, 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 I'm missing something. This is way too early to be in here. We're supposed to meet Valerio. I think I've gotten confused about which building that happens in. Yeah, we need to go in this one. My bad. Right through here. My mistake. Valerio, Leslie's original doctor. Peel away. Yes, expose everything. Hey, what are you doing?
Alright, we can kill him with a single shotgun blast for the match, as you saw. Oh, flashback. their keys inside the corpse. Oh, sh you've got to be kidding me. No! I can't get stuck here. Fuck! Ugh. We're going to have to reload the checkpoint. See, w well, if this glitches out, how can I get those keys? I don't know. If it makes me miss a key, I'm going to be fucking furious. What's wrong with this kid? That's all right. We'll do better this time. We can skip the cutscenes. Not a Martin. I was pressing space. It glitched, just like the window in Chapter Three. If it glitches me out of a key, I'm gonna be furious. Let's expose everything. Why are you not letting me skip this part? Hey, what are you doing? All right. Hey, you dropped gel that time. How could he have done that to Valerio? And I didn't get hit. So far, this is better in every way. Let's just, let's not... There we go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Come on, Sebastian. You need to do it. Hi, random chance. I like it well enough at this point. When it gets the, uh, when it really gets into horde mode later on, I think it gets a little tedious, but I really like this segment. All right, there we go. Green gel. Yes, Steven, I'm afraid you did.
nothing left in here. Smashable box. Came from outside. Yeah. Yes. Syringe. Yeah, boy. That's why we upgrade crit chance. Got an axe, too. All right. Handgun ammo. We are full. Excellent. There's a flash bolt. Wonderful. And some green gel. And some boxes. More green gel. Fabulous. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. <clears throat> so, check the enemy room the enemy came out of. Shotgun shells. Full on those two. Perfect. There's 300 green gel. And there's a couple more matches, but we're good. Okay. Should we save? I think we should save. We actually accomplished a lot. You've been expected. We don't have enough gel to buy any of our desired upgrades. But we did get a key. We did get a key. Let's go see what we find. That would be... Oh yes! Shock bolts! A warhead for the agony crossbow which will immobilize enemies who come into contact with it via an electric shock. It can be placed on things like floors and walls and even enemies. Alright. Groovy. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Now that I remembered that, I'll save again. Then we'll head out. Uh, next is the freaky thing, right? The fire thing? You know what I'm talking about. Isn't that up next? Here's that chapter 5. I can't quite remember. Now it's time to follow Leslie. Oh, that's right. That's right. Handgun ammo, currently full.
matches currently full. He's gone down there. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. This area first. Ooh, what have we here? Harpoon bolts, more matches, and shotgun shells. Full on those two. Hey, checkpoint. Uh, you always know bad things are about to happen when you hit the checkpoint. That was handgun ammo. We are full on that. Oh, I remember what's next. Help me. Leslie. Help me. Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> Dr. Hermenis is here. Settle <laughs> down. Wait, <laughs> Doc. I think something's coming. <laughs> Settle down. Invisible enemies, which can be killed with flashbolts. Yeah, invisible enemies, I know. Is it over? Are you still out there? This place is a death trap. Is there anywhere safe at all? I think that's unlikely. Hmm. Can't get out. Can't get out. We must be going this way. Let me out Can't of the cut. Away. There we go. Can't get away. Don't miss this green gel where Leslie was hiding. And off we go. Well, not quite. Almost missed a little more gel. Didn't want that. Okay. Now. We're going to lose our friends. Which I'm glad of. It's annoying. The stairs are gone. We must be collectively losing our minds. 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 Oh, God. No. Rovik. It is you. Ah! Listen. Who the hell are you? <laughs> no. Don't follow. Mm-hmm. What the? Doctor? Leslie? Fuck. Hey, checkpoint. What is going on here? Okay. There's lots. Oh, and what might that be? Tater, five dollars. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, well, I aim to please. Give me a second to find this thing I'm looking for. I really appreciate the five bucks, my friend. First things first, there's a switch down here in the bloodbath, like really close to where we started, if I can find it. Uh, 
Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, Tiff, since you're watching, the man bought him. The man bought himself something with his five dollars. Could you please prepare me a shot of tequila? <laughs> Okay, so here's the switch I'm looking for. That drains the blood, which is really good news, and we won't be able to pick it up, but it does reveal a grenade here on the ground, which is awesome. So next, if you look at the dumpsters, we are full on those right now, but... There are two harpoon bolts, so bear that in mind. We can easily use those. <laughs> Yay, shots. Yeah, we all love them, don't we? Uh, up here, there's two handgun ammo. We're full. The crate, unfortunately, had nothing, but that's all right. If we hit this switch... Oh my word. Oh my word, Tater! Tater, that's that's so much! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy the gift subscriptions, Aloran, Janathos, Sailor Girl, Trev, and DBZ. Courtesy of my man, Tater Tots of Doom. He's the best. Alright. Mm -mm. Nothing to do with that body, but if we pull the switch again... It drops a statue. Out of that one, which we can go break open for an ordinary key. <laughs> All right, so we got our key. Note the oil stains, because we can set those on fire. We don't want to do it now. We'll want to do it during the, uh, during the big fight. I want to go stealth mode, because there is a bomb back here. Stay crouched. We will hopefully not fail at dismantling it. Although you will notice the blue band getting smaller. If we hit this switch... You can see it drops two flammable barrels. Come on, Sebastian. We need we need it not on this balcony. It's really dumb the way you have to kick these. Like you can't pick them up or anything. We definitely want this down where the action's going to be. I haven't played it yet, Tater. Uh, it looks interesting enough to me. I'm certainly planning to give it a try at some point. 
Let's separate these out a little bit so that they don't, hopefully don't detonate at exactly the same time. There's a shock bolt here. Just notice it. All right. Here we are. Fine, fine, Salsa Hornitos tequila. Well, here is to the man of the hour, Tater Tots of Doom, my alcoholic online friend who I've never met from across the country. Uh, thank you so much for the $5 shot donation. Thank you so much for all of the gift subs. And thank you for always being such a blast when you hang out here and in the other Twitch streams we frequent. Here's to you, my friend. Cheers. <coughs> Nothing like straight tequila for your first drink of the day. Hot ah, damn. Mm. And no salt or lime either. Ah, but there we go. Okay. So. This door here. You need to be careful because there's a line trap right behind it. That we're also going to need to disarm. Just be very careful. Can we even disarm it? Yeah. There it is. Now this switch... Notice another, another one of those arrow traps. More handgun ammo, and a smashable crate. There's another bomb here, which we'll want to disarm if we can. Do better, Sebastian. Perfect. There's another crate here. Oh, Maya! I also thought you were a teetotaler. Interesting. I'm going to stay away from the door. Move over to the other side of this walkway. There are three parts here. And there's one more line trap to this mantle right here. If he can reach it. Yes, good. All right. It's fight time. Let's go. Okay. First great thing to do is aggro some enemies and hit this oil slick. But they're not aggroing the right direction. So let's hit the flammable barrels instead. That'll kill some of them. Damn. 
Do the oil flick next. Come on, fuckers. What the hell? Okay, you can't just erase my animation. That's not cool. I mean, I guess, obviously, apparently you can, but it's not cool. Can we get up that way? No. No, we cannot. See if we can get a few with the trap. Got one. Got another. Nice critical shot. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Fuck you. Is that everybody? That was everybody. Perfect. I need to use both my syringes, unfortunately. Uh, we got it. She dropped green gel. That was a very well-timed critical shot. All right. All right. We didn't end up using grenades or harpoon bolts, and we're only down one handgun bullet. That is actually pretty good. Oh, hey, a syringe. Awesome. That's good. There's gel. That's good, too. Alright, we can up our sprint time. texting Tiffany, actually. She's got lunch ready. I don't want to take a break. She promised... She... We, we arranged that I could stream for 14 straight hours today, like we did on Tomb Raider Day. And at this pace, it might take that long to beat this game. We'll see. Anyway, that... Despite my caterwauling, that actually went pretty well. Okay, so we've got everything out of here. We've got everything the enemies dropped. We didn't actually use any harpoon bolts, so... Let's head through this door. She fixed a hot lunch. I'm very excited. Checkpoint! Oh, you know something bad's gonna happen. Oh. Oh gosh, when did I play Tomb Raider? Martin was there. Uh, Lone Wonder was there. <laughs> well, Tater, I appreciate the work. I appreciate, really, really appreciate the gift subs and the shot purchase and everything. You enjoy your Witch Doctor, and thank you for lurking. Alright, so get one handgun bullet, max that back out. 
So you see that green gel back there? Get ready. You want to get that, and then you gotta run. Shit, I'd better run. Yeah, no kidding, buddy. Keep running. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Shutter! Green gel. Down the ladder. Woo! Gotta crawl underneath the traps. No time to disarm these. What is it with you? Got away from it. Oof. That was rough. Ha 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 ha. God damn. I said god damn. She back! You're kidding me! Doggy! That was close. And we made the checkpoint. Oh boy. No, it's not fight time. It's not time for the fight yet. Run away! Can't do anything to this guy. Just got to run away. Mm. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you guys don't mind me taking a bite, taking a pause, take a bite every now and then. But I believe that puts us into Chapter 5, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, here we go. Chapter 4, clear! Chapter 5, Inner Recesses. Yeah, Tomb Raider's great. The new Tomb Raider. I loved it. I'll just take a very. We'll take a pause here. We'll eat. Oh, how's everybody doing? On this lovely Saturday afternoon. Oh, this casserole looks delicious. Tiffany made what tastes like a, a ham and potato and egg casserole with a little bit of cheese. It's delicious. Oniony too. Chapter 5, Inner Recesses. Fatter enemies have more health. Haha. <laughs> Seems someone wants me hospitalized.
Seems like the opposite of real life, but that's okay. We can pick up map fragment eight in the corner here. He's watching, we can't leave. Ain't that grand. All right. Journal. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, March 2005. The bad news is that I've been reassigned to a new partner. The good news is that Myra said yes. But even the bad news isn't so bad. Joseph is a great detective, and we're a good team. Crimson City needs more men like him on the force, and it's an honor to be working with him. But sometimes it feels like bailing out a boat with a giant hole in the bottom. For every crime we solve, it seems that ten others are committed. The KCPD is a thin blue line protecting the populace from the criminals. But sometimes it seems like there's more of the latter than the former. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's the mirror to the save hub. Before we do that, let's open the weapon case. Explosive bolt. Definitely yes. Necessary for me, my ass. <laughs> it's been a while since your last visit. Investigation stalls in serial killer case. Community cautiously optimistic. Citing lack of new leads, police suspect serial killer may have gone into hiding or moved on. Spend the key that we picked up in the big dumpster area. It's gel! Alright, I believe now we'll be able to afford an upgrade. Oh, yes. Get to it. my inclination at hmm. so I want to do sprint time I can afford it I also want to do harpoon bolts. I've got enough for that. <clears throat> I want to do my agony bolt stock. And I want to do flash bolts to level 3. I'm going to go and do harpoon bolts to level 4 since I can afford it. So it's 50,000 to get to level 5, which is huge, but... Like I said, it adds fire damage. So you shoot enemies with the harpoon bolt and it burns them. It's awesome. Ready to save and head on back out. Wait, almost forgot. Let's pick up the other syringes that we left in here. So we got one there. 
one there. And it's still sitting on shotgun ammo and shock bolts. And one more syringe, which is pretty good. I hate that he always opens that door so slowly. It's alright, now we'll save. <coughs> I remember this chapter. Lots of invisible enemies to deal with, and the freaky demon lady with the arms. Oh, and <laughs> All right, out we go. Chapter five: Inner Recesses. <laughs> Two handgun ammo, but we're already full. So, I don't know if you noticed that sequence. The body on the ground disappeared and then walked by out here, but now it's just nowhere to be found. Ain't life grand. Oh, can see him standing down there. <laughs> can see one there. Matches. And a little cutscene, and the enemy disappears. Two more green gels. enemy. Wasted my flash bolt. Fortunately, I can see it in the pool of blood. I'm not gonna lie, I am very annoyed that the flash bolt didn't work the way it's supposed to. Very annoyed. I essentially completely wasted it. <laughs> oh well, so it goes. Let's go back to the hub and re up on all our ammo. Where did I. Where's the handgun ammo? It was in here, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. That's something. That was just matches. Pretty important in this one, I guess. Alright, yeah, we're going back to the hub. I want to re up on my shotgun shells. And my, and my syringes, I suppose. Whatever is the matter? That was, that was bothersome. I did not like that at all. I guess I actually have to make contact with the flash bolt. I can't just cause the flash, right? All right. Well, all of our spares are gone. That's okay, I think. I 
do not like the invisible enemies, though. They definitely bother me. Alright, off we go. well that ends well. It's dead. We got its green gel. This one looks empty. There's green gel in here. Looks like I have to get down. This room, this is what Martin was talking about being so annoying. As you can see, one of the rats has a statue on it. Which, for some reason, clipped out some of my handgun ammo, but it's okay, there's more handgun ammo right there. So we got the key, more ammo, more green gel. on matches for now, but there are five back there. That is good to know. <clears throat> Checkpoint! Hey! Gotta love it. Hmm. Locked. Need to find a key card. Hooray. Fuck you! That's what I'm talking about. See, that's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> Out of flash bolts, so I suppose I'll make one. I want to make I want to make a flash bolt. Let's do one for now. There's gonna be another invisible enemy. Say, I knew there's another one. Die. Get his gel. 
Whew, I hate these things. Shotgun shell. We're full. That's fine. and shells. More gel and a syringe. Hospital keycard. This keycard belonged to one of the hospital staff. It appears to have the blood of its previous owner on it. About to have yet another invisible enemy. <clears throat> it's much better when the flash bolts work the way they're supposed to. Much better. Oof, okay. Here's the key card door. We got gel here. Two of them. Uh oh. Handgun ammo. Yay. Checkpoint. What the hell? Well, this is a glitch if ever I've seen one, so let's go ahead and load up that conveniently placed checkpoint. Yeah, but I don't think it's supposed to stay all blurry, Martin. <laughs> Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How the hell do I fix this? I see a dude sitting at a table. Oh, okay, good. Whew. Fixed it. Underground facility note. 
he lies into his own son, his own flesh and blood, it's outrageous. Gone to a better place? That hypocrite, that sanctimonious fool. I know the truth. I know him better than he knows himself. He's trying to punish me again. He always resented our closeness, thinks he can use it against me. Does he take me for a fool? Laura is not dead. <clears throat> That one, with the big gear in the center and the three outside. <laughs> Life grand. I guess this room is just gonna stay blurry. Maybe I'm wrong and it actually is supposed to be this way. No, because I feel like I'm definitely supposed to be able to see something here. But it's just that room that's glitched. Doesn't seem to be any goodies in here, so... I already saw the sunflower at all, so... So we're trailing blood over to there. I'm sure we're going to create a new door when we solve the third puzzle. Such as it is. Gel and a tape. Assimilation of subject's consciousness. Initial symptoms. Sharp pain and brainstem at centered on insertion point. Followed by gradual onset of hemorrhaging as capillaries dilate. Over time, degradation of the ego generates strong suicidal tendencies. They lose who they are and become clay, completely reshapeable in my image. But not me. Something keeps me from staying completely within. Alright. Okay, let's look back there. Alright, so I see... A neuron with and without a ganglion. I think that's what those are called. We want the one with the tail. This one. Alright. Off we go. Oh, good. All right. Now well, we got gel here. Hey, it's Joseph. Joseph. Thank God you're okay. I don't 
know what I am. But it's definitely not okay. You brought me here? Space heal. Healing partners. Space hold. Heal partner. Does not consume health items. And we got a checkpoint. The gel here. Let's heal him up. I've still got a little fight left in me. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get out of here fast. Note the oil spot. We actually can open these lockers. Empty. Empty. Shotgun shells. Gel. Handgun ammo. Yay. More gel. All right, that's it for in here. Oil spot, baby. Keep your eyes open. I do love a critical. How are you doing, Joseph? Did you manage to kill one? He did! He killed one! Atta boy. All right. Syringe and handgun ammo. How timely. There's a flammable barrel. So this one we want to burn. Save ourselves some hassle. There's more handgun ammo. There's a harpoon bolt in there. There's a syringe back here. And there's some more green gel. Oh, 
Hmm. This looks pretty sophisticated. Why would they put a bomb like this? Do you think we can get past it? Stand back. Let me see if I can disarm it. Damn, good work, Skippy. A random chance, I'm glad you appreciate it. I try to play that way most of the time, most of the time. Unless, of course, I'm actually playing an FPS. I thought it was something electronic. Uh -oh. Joseph, after Connolly, I thought I don't know what came over me. <coughs> I haven't been feeling well, but... Look, let's just get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. Yeah. Ladder, up we go. Ah, random chance. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it, my friend. Glad you stumbled across me today. Hey, safe hub. Perfect. Let's see, we got shotgun shells and matches. Perfect. I think we're just about maxed on everything at the moment, except flash bolts. All right, hey bub, we need to move. I almost missed map fragment nine. There we go. Now we'll go save. Get at least one of the upgrades I want, I believe. No journal this time. Vico, I think it's pretty obvious there is something wrong it. with this place. Also, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. It's been a while since your last visit. There's another newspaper. Mental patients claim abuse. Abuse only tip of the iceberg. Patients at Beacon Mental Hospital claim they are being used in behavioral engineering experiments by an unknown agency. <clears throat> Lost! An, a resub. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. I can't believe you've already been subscribing for five months. That's insanity. It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, my friend. All right. Um, I have also picked up a key. Yeah, I got the one from the rat, so... Uh, DBZ, I think that's just on your end. Can everybody else confirm? Gel, baby. Another 5,000. All right, let's go get upgrades. Well, I'm doing very well, Lost. Thank you for asking. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for the resub. Eighteen thousand four hundred. All right, we can definitely get some of the things I still want here. Uh, 
Okay. I do want sprint time. I can afford it. I want... My Agony Bolt stock at level 4. I can get that. Or at level 3. I can get that. I want... Harpoon Bolts at level 5. And I want Flash Bolts at level... I tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and do sprint time right now. All the way up to level four, which is where I'm gonna leave it. That done. That that one costs fifty thousand. That one costs five thousand. Flash bolts level three costs forty five hundred. All right. <laughs> I think I'll do bolt stock next, and then flash bolts, and then I'm gonna hoard my gel to get the fire damage on my harpoon bolts. Hi, Laura. JD thirteen. Um. That doesn't happen to be code for a Juris Doctor class of 2013, does it? Just out of curiosity. Also, welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. All right. From here... head back out. <laughs> Checkpoint. Oh, goody, this part. Ooh, I like it. Kidman. Get me out of this thing! Wait a minute. It's another trap. Look. <laughs> this is the first real big pure Six action sequence. Martin, I got the map fragment before I went into the save room. Joseph, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I think you'd better get down here. Hold on, I'm coming. Shit, let's hurry it up! God, that sucks. Got 
Ooh, checkpoint. Okay, okay, okay. Sebastian, they're above us. I see that. Get out that way. Oh, God damn it. Well, at least I got to the first checkpoint. At least I got to the first checkpoint. I... That was a hair on the cheesy side, if you ask me, but whatever. I need to hotkey my grenades. There. The axe. I will wreck you. I just want to make sure I hit all of these actual rooms because there's gel hiding in them, which is important to me. Oh, come on, now! Don't tell me I... On the move. More matches in there. All right. Fatty. Oh God damn it! I don't like that their animations always take priority. A little on the cheese ball side. Oh shit. I forgot the mask does stop headshots.
Kidman needs help. Damn it. That was close. All right. Well. Okay. I need to heal, and I would have sworn I saw a syringe somewhere. Yeah, there it is. I am low on shotgun ammo. That's worrisome. Pretty okay on everything else. I don't want to trigger the next cutscene just yet. Okay, I think that's everything. Oof, alright. I can't get the thing open. I think there's another control panel around here. We're running out of time. Where do these cables go? I'll go. Tell me what to do. Checkpoint! Now, right, before I do this, I need to use the bathroom. Be right back. Oh boy, good stuff. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that did not go well. Uh-uh. That's what you want to do, but let's reload the checkpoint with less failure. <laughs> And Lost, um, I saw a question a while ago that I never answered. I am playing on the hardest available difficulty setting, but you only start with easy and normal unlocked. You have to beat it on normal to play on hard. That said, this is a hard game, and as you can see, normal is pretty damn hard. Light your dynamite, bro. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Well, that'll do it. One way or another. <laughs> oh, this does not look good. Kidman's in trouble. Oh, come on! Good lord. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just trying to get good at shooting the dynamite. Like, I was good at this in Resident Evil 4. What's happened to me? <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. That's what. Alright. Once more. With a real feeling.
Yeah, Hard has some weird Japanese name, like Akumu, I think. Something like that. Whatever. I'm fine just getting a critical hit. I think there's another control panel around here. There. Kidman's in trouble. Get in there. Kidman's in trouble. Okay, found it. Look at the control panel. It's got the same kind of dials, right? Yeah, a top one and a bottom one. Set the upper dial to 22 and the lower dial to 5. bad juju okay well that was a pain in the ass but it's all good There's a key. Love it. More handgun ammo. Even more handgun ammo. Two are apparently empty. That's fine. Okay, I guess now is my chance to make sure I've picked up everything. So I'm gonna do that, and then. Hang on, I'm coming. Then, of course, we'll need to drop down that hole. Full on matches. Full on grenades. Anything left in here? Nope. Shock bolt, but I'm full on those. just was just gel we got that over there's our control panel was can't can't seem to backtrack Those are all locked. All right. Time to drop down the hole. Oh, damn. Zero hesitation. There's a checkpoint. 
Where'd they go? A lot of bodies, as always. Torch. Oh, good. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I am getting really fed up with enemies, like, canceling melee animations with a grab. It's like, what the hell? It's alright. It's alright, it's alright. I'm gonna settle down. But it's annoying. This is definitely annoying. Let's see, we got parts. We got gel. Gel back here. Only 300? Seems like high effort for 300. Oh, maybe not. This is the way we have to go. More gel. Handgun ammo is full. Checkpoint. Parts. Gel. One thing I'm noticing this game kind of does a lot is, like, it'll fake you out, right? Like, there'll be a big head pop, but it isn't actually a critical hit. I am not a fan. Oh, you have got to be shitting me! Ugh! Joseph just died while I was dealing with my own gr bullshit. Great. Anything in here? Yeah. Alright. Let's try again. Let's try again. That was a lot better. A lot better. Alright. 
Oof. I don't like how low on shotgun ammo I am. Looks like the door's locked from the other side. Sebastian, maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. All right. Let's get going. We should go. All right. I'm glad you're both all right. It's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. invitation. Detective Sebastian Castellanos and Detective Myra Hansen joyfully request the pleasure of your company at their wedding celebration. Saturday, the 17th of September, 2005, at half past 12, the Veranda Hotel, Crimson City, reception to follow. And there's our safe hub. And uh, don't miss Map Fragment 10 sitting in this room. Into the safe hub. Sebastian. Have you forgotten something? We got a newspaper. Missing parishioner found in mental hospital. These claims are absolutely outrageous. Parishioner Fernando Cabrera, missing for eight years, found committed in Beacon Mental Hospital. Claims parish was cult. Missing, Fernando Cabrera, psychiatric patient, escaped from Beacon Mental Hospital. He is seriously ill and in need of constant supervision. All right. If memory serves, I got at least one more key, maybe even two. Just one, that's fine. Stick with the top row. Handgun ammo, 10. Not bad. The only other thing is a shock bolt. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. We have not missed any map fragments so far. Hey, no, I, I, I am enjoying this game. There are, like I said, there are parts later on that get really, really tedious, but the first half or so I think is pretty well paced and a lot of fun to play. I don't love the big action sequences. But. All right, let me raise my agony bolt stock. Four of each. 
We'll do Flash Bolt level 3 next, and then I'll hoard for Harpoon Bolt. Alright, let's, um, I guess we can go ahead and go pick up that Shot Bolt out of the locker room, since I upgraded my stock. spare handgun ammo in here, and that's all for the moment, and that's fine. Let's save and keep going. gel in the crate. I didn't want the bottle, I want the gel. Thank you. And more handgun ammo. Mainly the big Crimson City segments toward the end. I'm not a fan. Ooh, spike traps. Mm -hmm. A shotgun shell, that's nice. I suppose. Freeze Bolt, a warhead for the Agony Crossbow, which will temporarily freeze struck opponents. Except for certain enemies, the target will break apart after freezing. That was two shotgun shells. We're improving. I'm a little mad that that one got to hit me, but whatever. Back in the main hall. There is a trap to dismantle. Plenty of enemy sounds.
What? What the hell? Oh, for fuck's sake. Did the foe critical again. Need to get closer. Oh, I wonder if I can sneak kill her. Nope. That's better. That's more better. Need to heal. More handgun ammo. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay. Whoa. There's some gel. There's an oil spot there. Oh yes, I remember this. <laughs> oh boy. Syringe, well timed. Oh, shit. Wait for it. Seems to work. She's not a fan of fire. All right, so in here we can get parts and more gel. Oh, and the bird with the statue. This one's annoying as hell. We're gonna waste so much ammo. What the fuck? This part just exists to rob you of bullets. There. Fuck. Got it. Okay. <sighs> Got it. Oh boy. Uh, can I backtrack to the safe hub? Because I want to. Because it's boss fight time. Ooh, matches. Don't mind if I do. Hey, perfect. A full match stock. It's highly needed. Yep. We get to actually fight that thing now. If you were wondering. The worrying type, I see. I think I actually have enough uh, gel to take my flash bolts to level three. Which is significant because it means that once I have that, I'm hoarding for harpoon bolts level five. Perfect. Can 
We're going to get the handgun ammo out of there, as well as open another locker. Reserve of handgun ammo. Now let's save and get ready for the boss. Alright, so look around this room. We've got flammable barrels. I believe there are two torches. And then there's some ovens we have to manipulate. Oh, they gave us a checkpoint save. We can also use matches on these bodies if we get the timing right. It's not easy to do. torch animation not work. I swung the torch at her and it just didn't fucking do anything. He kicked her instead like a fucking idiot. No, if I if I pick up a torch and turn toward her, guess what, boyo? I am not asking you Hard as this may be to believe. The request is not for you to stomp her. I think the problem was the elevation, now that I think about it. Because he tends to stomp when things are below him.
It's an instant kill if she gets you. I gotta, I gotta remember how to use the ovens too. So those are a good way to get her. But. So five burnings was not enough. And this is on normal, lest we forget. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh! No! KRD! Thank you so much for subscribing. That's amazing. Where is she? How do I use the oven? So that's what I can't remember. Where are the switches? I can only use it once? Good lord! I am like, out of flammable shit! There. That did it. Wasn't quite out of flammable shit. The explosive bolt did the job. Yeah, let's get that 8,000 gel. Damn right. Shit was not easy, yo. Alright.
right. Gel, gel, matches. Checkpoint! Goody. All right. Yeah, I vaguely remember this room. Subject's case history cites developmental delays, indicates issues with communication, social cognition, repetitive behaviors, signs of synesthesia reported. Genealogy suggests increased susceptibility to external stimuli, pattern adaptiveness. Could you be what I've been searching for all these years, and under my own nose? Unbelievable. There can be no mistake. This one is compatible. Oh, yeah. What in the hell? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, hold on. Just a moment. <laughs> All right. We gotta fight these things. Good lord! Yeah, so when you kill one, you have to unplug it. I don't like it when a headshot doesn't even really stagger them. Why can I not get a critical? to save my life. All of a sudden. My kingdom for a critical shot! Jesus! What is this shit? This is absurd! You have got to be kidding me! Fuck! Finally, I guess. Insanity! Like, what is the deal? Are they just immune? To oh, they're probably immune to critical shots because they're like special freaky enemies or whatever.
Chapter 5 clear. Oh. Save. Oh, chapter six, losing grip on ourselves. Yeah, I should have I should have figured out that's why I couldn't pop their heads. It was rather stupid of me in retrospect. Critical plot vehicle blocks critical hit. Yes, indeed. Did you see how it cut to Kidman's face there at the very end? Rut row. Has something startled you? Did they do something to my head? You don't look well. You should take better care of yourself. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I took a bunch of damage. I think, honestly, two syringes worth, yeah. Where's that? Uh, go ahead and pick up those handgun bullets. That's something at least. All right. Church floor collapses. No injuries. Witness says miracle. Biggest church scandal to date. Floor of Cedar Hill Church collapses during renovations. Parishioner says it was a miracle no one was injured. Now let's inspect the photographs. Photographs? There we go. I needed to turn my light on. That was the issue. What was that sound? Well, this isn't unnerving or anything. It's my upgrade chair. I'm hoarding now, waiting till I get 50,000 and can do my level 5 harpoon bolts. Can't save. Pyramid Head has become safe head. Mm -hmm. Oh, nope. That's new. 
Oh good, this again. Sebastian? 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 Almost time for scotch. Hey, I like it. Okay. Well, here we are in what looks like it was a save room or save hub entrance. It's daytime. How about that? There's a harpoon bolt. We are full on those. Oh, I don't know. When I feel like it. I can go upstairs. Chapter six places the photographs. Losing grip on ourselves. Handgun ammo. I think those fancier looking crates always have an item inside them. There's a needed syringe, shotgun ammo. We're full on shotgun. We're actually a little bit low on handgun. Down we go. Gel. Mm -hmm. Handgun ammo! Seven bullets! Hey, we're full there too. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And there's a grenade in the corner, but we've got all we can carry. The 
The body was hiding a statue with an ordinary key in it. Front row. It was about to crack open. But now it's like... I'm starting to get used to it. You seen Kidman? No. Next thing I knew, I was here. I must have blacked out or... Maybe I turned again. Inside. Let's go. Oh yeah, flash bolt. We get all the gel they dropped. There we go. Alright, fuck all y'all. That was pretty good, that was pretty good. Freeze bolt and green gel. Explosive bolts, shotgun shells. Oh, good lord, another one.
Okay, speaking of parts I hated, this, this part sucks. There's just so many. So fucking many. And I don't think you get a checkpoint between the two fights. Nope, you don't. No checkpoint. Ain't life grand. Oh, I see what you're saying, Martin. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sebastian, let's go. 
Looks like we're out. All right. <laughs> Fuck you very much. Oh, y'all. Whew. All right. Let's rest for a minute. We can't keep going at this pace. I... I think we've got to get out of this place as fast as we can. What about the tower there? We might be able to get a lay of the land. Anything's got to be better than staying here. Hey, checkpoint. Yay. Syringe and the sniper rifle. This unusual looking rifle is bolt action and has a scope. It looks old, but appears to have been well cared for. Okay. Now we can get to the safe hub here. It's a good idea. I think I'm going to put the rifle on hotkey 4 instead of grenades. Oh, there's a statue to get. Shoot the statue there on that metal beam. We'll be able to grab the key later. Go to the safe hub while you can. How much longer am I needed here? Well, I do have one key. Gel. Seven thousand. All right. Anything in here? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Heading to bed, Stephen. Guessing that's what that eye is about to is is prelude to. <clears throat> All right. Out we go. Be careful. It could be full. See the enemy there? He's got a crossbow. The one down. Enemies everywhere. I would like to also sneak kill the one on the stairs if I can. I think I can. I'm going to watch. See if he turns around again. Looks like he's just standing there. It's all right. Maybe I can drop through the door and get behind him that way. What? Where? Got to be someone above me, right?
Okay, I guess Joseph doesn't trigger bombs. That's neat for him. Now, I'd really like to go uh, go back and save. That was basically flawless. That sequence right there. I'm a big fan of what I just accomplished. Oh no! The mirror broke. They're on to me! On to my safe scumming ways. We got handgun ammo, we got a harpoon bolt. Or not. That was fucking lame. Ugh. That was really fucking lame. It's like, huh? Uh, you did. Oh, thank God, there was a checkpoint. Oh, come on! Really? You just let him, like... It's moments like this that the game starts to annoy me. When, like, an enemy clubs me, and then before I even, like, recover, it, he, it turns out he has sent me into a bomb. You idiot. Down. I want you to go down. I have to take them all out before. Are you 
serious? Oh, for fuck's sake! I guess it makes sense, but... Man, that... that the, the game gets cheap in places, and... This is definitely one such place. We'll have to take them all out before we can get in. Yeah, I know. We won't stand a chance if we don't take out those other guns. I'm aware. Fuck that noise, very much. My God! Thank you, Joseph. Oh, a syringe. I certainly needed that. And I need to promptly use it, too. They're still coming at us in force. I'm not going to lie, Axe Joseph is pretty OP here. I like it. Okay.
Oh, he w you guys want to see my help? Okay. Oops. Not that one. There we go. You won't be able to see documents if I put it here. Um, let me think. I'm going to leave that where I had it. Try the bottom right. That might work. I guess we'll see, but I think that'll work. First aid! Alright, bag this guy. Alright. That's the most difficult stuff handled. I am very much in the camp of, uh, let's just let Axe Joseph take care of business and keep him healed. Save our ammo. Oh, come on! I wanted that torch! What the hell? Great. This is getting tough. Everybody gets one. I got an achievement, apparently. How about we get off the bridge, dummy? Fight him over here. As Joseph then just immediately sprints back onto the center of the bridge. I got two axe chuckers. Let's get down there. Come on, asshole. Joseph will fucking wreck you. Yeah! That's my boy. Now get the one that popped in behind us. Fuck him, too. Hey, a shock bolt. Ooh, lordy. For fuck's sake! Thank you. Hey. All right, we got an axe. That's good. See that thousand green gel? Tricky. Mm. 
Another bomb. Gel. Rifle ammo. A lot of it, too. I do want the axe. Alright, you want to open up the left door here. Parts, parts, and two chests. Hey, it's not rigged. A thousand green gel. It's also not rigged. Rifle ammo and we're full on shotgun. That's fine. Just fine. Oh, hey, look, we circled all the way back. Go figure. Neat. Well, that's actually nice. Means I know exactly where I am. The big guy fell all the way down. He's dead. Okay, I think we actually want to go back up here because we want to move the flammable, that flammable barrel into the arena over there. If it wasn't obvious to you that it's an arena, I don't know what to tell you. Oh yeah. Before I do that, we will have one last gunner to deal with. Oh hey. Nothing should stand in the way of getting to the tower now. Uh -huh. Well, at least it gave us a checkpoint. Harpoon bolt. All right, we've cranked the damage on them. Let's do this. I see shotgun shells too. Nope, I'm wrong. That's handgun ammo. Not bad, boy. -o. Let's be careful. We could be full of them. Five thousand three hundred. All right. Nice work, fam. Wait. Oh, my axe. 
Well, let's bring that along. Could be handy. A syringe. Desperately needed health. All right. I believe that's everything. Oh shit, hold on. We're going to fight him again. Because I missed the ordinary key from the statue. Alright, good. Oh, for fuck's sake! Kick the fucking thing away from the wall! That is all I want you to do! Away from the wall! Away from the wall! There we go. What is that shit where it just, like, puts him behind me and gives him the insta-kill? I'm getting annoyed. Like, really, really bothered. Oh, great. Why? No! No!
All right. That was actually pretty good. Let's be careful. It could be full of them. Let's go get our very welcome syringe. Where is it? There's supposed to be a syringe here. Did you seriously just replace my syringe with a part? Mm. Not a fan. Oh well. Alright. Now, the key from the statue should be around here somewhere. That's my axe. The statue respawned. So we're going to have to backtrack to shoot it again. Backtrack a ways, it seems. Color me annoyed. It's all right. It's all right. There we go. Okay, now we'll get the key and now we'll head in there. Thank you. I hear a safe hub. This Matches. There's map fragment eleven. Green gel and a new diary or journal or whatever. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, May 17th, 2006. Eight months since Myra and I were married, and you, little Lily, are the result of our love. I can't wait for two months to pass so that I can finally meet you. But I must admit that I am scared. I've faced countless dangers in my job, but knowing that I'm going to be a dad is the scariest thing of all. We're going to have to do the archive trick. I already moved the mouse. Already moved it again. Okay, there we go. I promise to love you and to protect you with every fiber of my being as long as I am in this world. I will enter this stage of my life the same way I do every important task, with a full heart and the desire to do the best that I can. Just know that your mother and I love you already and cannot wait to welcome you into this sometimes harsh world. Alright, back into the safe hub. Alright. Let's go use the key we just got. Five thousand gel, we're up to thirty two thousand. And there's a new newspaper. KCPD officer missing. Search underway for missing detective. Crimson City Police Detective Myra Castellanos, 36, has been reported missing. Though she was on duty at the time, a police spokesperson denies connection to any investigation she was involved in. Her husband and superior officer, Sergeant Sebastian Castellanos, had no comment. All right. That's it. Save. 
we'll move on. Three hundred gel and a syringe, most welcome. All right, do you think Kidman is okay? I don't like that they used her as bait. Almost like someone's toying with us. Something's broken. Hang in there. Just a little further. There we go. It wasn't letting me move. Four choices, Joseph. Joseph. Checkpoint. Rifle ammo. I'm fine. No need to worry. You should have just let them. Another checkpoint. Cover me. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Fine, I'll reload the autosave. I hate this cheap ass shit.
Cover me. Let's go. You've got to be kidding me! That one dynamite fuck is able to make me have to start completely over? This is... I am getting mad. I am getting mad, because this is ridiculous. that the whole process starts over if they hit him once. God forbid we just lift the plank, right? Video game logic, I guess. Cover me. Let's go. Fuck you, dynamite bro. like it. I've got grenades, but then enemies weren't uh, clustered in a way that that would be particularly helpful, I don't think. Alright, now what? Oh boy. Okay. Need to use the bathroom and check on Tiff. I will be right back.
seemed like it got real quiet. She's uh, Tiff took Gus for a walk. That's where everybody is. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to breathe a little bit more. All right. <clears throat> I think I smell those things. They might be nearby. Okay. A syringe. Oh, finally one I can hold. However briefly. Hopefully not terribly briefly. I guess we'll find out. Alright, gel. Yell, yell, yell. Hmm. This looks like some kind of a marketplace. It looks deserted, just like everywhere else. We ought to keep moving. We'll move when I feel good and ready to move. I'll do that chest in a bit. Let's head over here next. Keep making sure we're smashing everything. Shotgun shells. More gel. More gel and ah, another tape. Father was a stern man, proud, and Does I thought it a little harder to move lately. But he was also pious, a believer. Somehow he always supported the church, no matter what the newspapers said. He waved away the allegations as if they were infallible. The wretched, the vermin, the Does stern. It's a little harder to move lately. All were taken in by that church. They were promised salvation and eternal life. But there's nothing they could promise that I couldn't take away. Yes, Reaper, I am. Interesting. Gel and parts. Duck through this opening to find a duck da da. I think I smell those things. A key. They might be nearby. Thousand green gel. Handgun ammo. Welcome indeed. A 
Now let's get this chest before we move on. It is rigged. Ooh, medical kit. Yes. Don't mind if I do. That's obviously a load you up sequence. Where do you suppose we are? More like when? This architecture seems straight out of the Middle Ages. Yeah, but there's electricity, elevators. This place can be real. It's like jumbled up memories. Yeah! Is this what it was like, Seb? After the accident? Well, Get I never put a gun to my head. Get your no, flask out, boy -o. Just quietly sank into a bottle. We can't all be perfect. It never affected my work. But hey, you read the IA report. You know I didn't report you because I was worried about your work, Sebastian. What else is there? We don't have time for this. I need my partner here. I'm counting on you. Hey, a mirror. Oh, we need that very badly. That's good. I hear it anyway. There's map fragment 12. Find something? Maybe. It's all symbols. Some kind of cult. Could be useful. A syringe? I think I'm okay. We should probably get going. Matches! Here we go. I don't quite have 50,000 gel yet, but I do have a key. And I think there are new collectibles to find, too. <clears throat> Freeze bolt. Not bad. Pastor under investigation. Parish may have broken church bylaws. Pastor Salvador Graciano denies allegations of financial impropriety. Church officials investigating lack of records on cash donations and spending by the parish. There's another poster, too. 
missing. Pastor Salvador Graciano. Pastor Graciano and several parishioners at Cedar Hill Church are missing. The church has been locked up tight since they disappeared. Off we go. Hold on a minute. Let me climb up here and see if I can get a look ahead. You all right? Yeah. Hey, that's Kidman. Who's that she's with? Ooh, now Joseph's gonna have a rifle. What I found. Seems to be in working condition. Go on ahead, I'll cover you. And now we can't get back to the safe hub. The game just loves doing that to us. Well, wow. ain't life grand. Oh, come on! Find cover. They're shooting. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna take that hit. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Gotta get behind the tombstone straight away, I suppose. It's Tiffany! Hang on a second. I agree, Martin. Positive escort mission. Crouch. Find cover. They're shooting. Yeah, just wait here. Joseph will deal with the sniper. There we go. Oh, come on! I get so fucking furious when it gets all stupid like this. Come on, Joseph, shoot him. Do your job. Nice. Okay, we're all right. More gel, very good. An explosive bolt. We are full on those. Hmm. Sebastian. 
That should lead you out near the path to the church. Keep going. I'll cover you. Oh, this does not look good. Oh, good lord. Oh, this is going to be an insta-kill. Finish him off. What are you trying to get have me do? That, I guess. Good time to use my medical kit, I think. Get me a back health boost. We got him Shit. too. A dead end. I'll look for another route. Let's meet up by the horse statue there. This way. Okay, there we go. Syringe and a spark bolt in here. This we're full on sniper ammo. Make sure that's one hundred percent true. Ooh, two explosive bolts. Not bad. And handgun ammo. We're actually in pretty good shape now. Okay. Whew. Graveyard note. Walt, I've gone to get Donna back. I saw how to get into the wolf's den, and I'm getting her back. I won't let her be a sacrifice. Don't follow. Just stay and watch the family. I'll bring her back. Daniel.
Wait, there was something about a horse in that house back there. Let me see what I wrote. Ooh, neat. I guess we go down. I guess so. And we're tossed back into the safe hub. I don't think I have... Uh, nope, no new keys. Still shot, still short of the 50,000 green gel I need. No newspaper, no missing person. How close am I? 44,800. Yeah, close. We'll save, of course. <laughs> And out we go. You don't need to worry about me. Well, isn't this just delightful? Checkpoint. Okay, so three, five, nine have X's through them, seven does not. Okay. So this is three. So that's good. This is nine. I think we need to drop this one. Here comes a particularly mean statue and key. Smash it when it's over the stairs. Thing to me, should it? Now hold on a second. I jotted something down earlier. We need to raise the one off of seven. It seems the sacrifices uh, need to be lowered onto the proper uh, altars, and the safe way to him will be open. Over here, we've got a bunch of smashables. Boom bolt. Gel. Gel. And another harpoon bolt. Wonderful. I guess we need to do this one too.
Okay, I think everything's good. Green gel here in a very freaky elevator. That's just lovely. Got gel. Shotgun shells. Cemetery lab note number one. It had to have been God's will that these two twin orphans survived. They were baptized and given medicine. Noon and his brother Zen quickly recovered, but just as quickly did their aberration progress. Of course they are twins, but for some reason their growth patterns exhibit identical values. Twelve hours after serum administered, noon, 122.4 centimeters, 28.2 kilograms. Zen, 122.4 centimeters, 28.2 kilograms. Body temperature elevation, pain in lower extremities evident. Twenty-four hours after serum administered, noon, 125.8 centimeters, 29.4 kilograms. Zen, 125.8 centimeters, 29.4 kilograms. Vital signs stabilized, sleeping in short intervals. <clears throat> 36 hours after serum administered, noon, 138.9 centimeters, 34.0 kilograms, zen, 138.9 centimeters, 34.0 kilograms, semi-conscious, speaking to imaginary person. 48 hours after serum administered, noon, 145.7 centimeters, 46.9 kilograms, zen, 145.7 centimeters, 46.9 kilograms, and I surmise that... Oh, God damn it. Hold on, it's scrolling in my other window, even though it's failing to scroll in this one, which is just annoying. Try again. Oh, God damn it. Can't move the mouse. At all. Damn it! Oh, fucking glitches. They're terrible, man. Good lord, you're killing me, game. There we go. Agitated administering sedative. Thank you. Good grief. There's a syringe. I'm full. Four handgun ammo. I'm full. All right. Noon and Zen. So they are very likely the ogres that we fought earlier. Oh, it was panning over. Yep. Does it seem a little harder to move lately? There we go. Oh gee, I wonder if we're gonna have to fight that. Cemetery lab note number two. Every month offerings are brought above ground to the stone sarcophagus the owner calls the altar. Two bodies, four bodies, three bodies, five bodies, four bodies, seven bodies, six bodies. The church guard dog has begun to change. Just like the twins, the aberration is progressing. 
It devoured six bodies today, and already it howls for more. It has begun to stress its bars and chains in its fervor. I don't dare take my eyes away from that animal. It may think I am another offering. Hmm. Hey, green gel. Am I wrong? Is that actually not the way out? It has to be this way. Ah, there we go. Can you get it open? Big surprise, right? That sucked. Oh, I think we killed it. Good. Joseph. Gave us a checkpoint. I guess that's something. The 
Sebastian, I'll draw it away so you can search. Oh, okay, I was going to say, what? Bad dog. Okay, so you are able to kill it. It's worth 7,000 green gel to do so. All right. Explosive bolt, freeze bolt, handgun ammo. Probably have to burn through all my syringes again. But that's all right. A spark bolt. At least you can pick up your misfires. That's nice. I didn't appreciate that until just now. That's pretty cool. Shotgun shells. I just want to make sure there's nothing else before we pick up the glasses and move on. Looks like no. All right. Now. There we go. Joseph's glasses. Joseph has worn the same pair for as long as Sebastian has known him. We are done. Let's go. I'm sorry. It's not just about being unable to see. It's about feeling normal. It's all right. Let's focus on finding Kidman. Jeez, Joseph, all that for a pair of glasses. Gel. All right. Yep, a little more green gel over here. And we're on to chapter seven.
Save game, of course. Chapter 7, The Keeper. Next chapter. go get a beverage. I will be right back.
All right, and we are back. Apologies for the delay. I found a whole bunch of little chores I needed to do once I got downstairs. Hooray. Okay, let's get to it. We got matches. That sounded close. <laughs> Two shotgun shells. You have to stay with me. There's no other way. Green gel. Map fragment 13. Hey, Joseph. You still with me? Hmm. Talk. Sebastian. You ever had the urge to just jump? When you're on a high place? <coughs> or the subway rolls by? Imagine if you had that urge for a minute straight. Then two minutes. You fought it off three times now, Joseph. You're learning to stop it. You're not listening. I'm not worried about stopping it, Seb. I'm worried about not wanting to stop it. Some part of me wants to turn. I don't know why, and I can't reason it away. It's deeper than that. It's like instinct. It's getting stronger. Hold on. This way. that guy again. Rubik. That's some crazy shit right there. like it hurt. Chapter 7, The Keeper. Checkpoint. 300 gel. I'd better start searching for my partners. More gel.
handgun bullets. Oh, that's lovely. Parts. Excellent. Somewhere in the distance, I hear enemies. Not so distant anymore. Maybe we can do stealth kills again. That'd be something. Oh, it, we totally can. Yeah, good. Let's not fuck it up, boys. <clears throat> oh. Well, maybe we can't do stealth kills. Maybe they're just gonna spot us through walls. I'm sorry, that seems like extreme fuckery to me. Call me old-fashioned, but I feel like if they're not even in the f fucking line of sight, they shouldn't suddenly aggro. Shit. There we go. Well, that wasn't so bad. I do have more handgun ammo right here, but I am annoyed. Thankful for my criticals. Ready to visit the safe house, too. So I think, um... Harpoon Bolts level 5 is like my last must-do that I identified. So I'm, uh... I think I'll, uh... Maybe I will start boosting handgun critical again. Get it all the way up to 50%. Well, maybe we can stealth kill the third one. It'd be nice if it would give us that much. Nope. Not trying to stomp the enemy. I want you to smash the vases. There you go. There you go, buddy. All right, we got a thousand gel. Rifle ammo. More gel. And I suppose now it's time to move on. Handgun ammo. It automatically turns off our light just for spooky effect. Some more smashable vases. Parts. Not bad. <clears throat> Looks loose. Old lithograph. This lithograph was pried from a stone door where it seems to have been used as a key. Ooh. 
an ordinary key and two parts and gel and a document get it all catacomb note help the metallic pounding he's coming i run but he follows help god help 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 my goodness Checkpoint, front row. Oh, shit. Mm. Grenade. Save room. We got gel. Looks like we can only use it in the middle one. Okay. It fits. Oh. I guess it only fits in one. That makes sense. Go to the save hub before we explore any further. Lily's birth announcement. We welcome with love Lily Lynn Castellanos, born July 18th, 2006, 9.56 a.m., 7 pounds, 3 ounces, 14 inches. Proud parents, Sebastian and Myra Castellanos. All right. And to the save hub we go. Oh, we're right in front of the newspaper stand. The worrying type, I see. Catacombs found beneath parish. Pastor says nothing to lose sleep over. Who took care of this place? Workmen repairing collapsed floor discover man-made passages beneath Cedar Hill Church. Claim they saw mummies. Parish denies access to historians, claiming sacrilege. Missing, Chris Taylor, construction foreman, disappeared while overseeing repairs of a fallen church floor. Repairs were nearly completed, so it is unlikely he fell. Mm -hmm. Let's go use our keys, and then we'll buy upgrades. Got two keys. Let's go around. All right, we've cleared the whole top row. Good job, team. Let's go the opposite direction and hit row number two. Harpoon bolts. We're full right now, but there's a stash of four. Excellent. Let's go buy upgrades. <clears throat> We will take Harpoon Bolts to level 5, which basically, it does two things. It turns them into a one-shot for any basic enemy, because, you know, it sets them on fire. And, uh, spoiler alert, we have a second round against the Arm Lady, and it makes them exceedingly useful against her. All right, baby. Harpoon bolts are fully upgraded. And I've got 16,200. Next thing I want to do is take handgun critical all the way to 50%. So I'll come back when I have 20,000 gel. Let's 
save. And let's move along. Yeah, the handgun becomes obscenely useful with 50% critical, so we'll do that next. As long as you can land headshots, which I'm not the greatest at. And then, of course, it starts throwing the masked enemies at you, so you can't get headshots, but you know, we'll deal with all that. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Yay, inhalation hazard. So we can wait for the gas to dissipate, and then we can head on through. Oh goody, these things. That was sort of the idea. Got a bomb to disarm. Yay, yay. Whew, that was close. Maybe that shot from before is finally kicking in. <laughs> anyway, we can search the cell, and we should. Got five handgun ammo. Need all of it. We got matches. And we have an axe. Excellent. that one yet. That's a drop down. Mm -hmm. Oh. Eat shit. Now we can go down there. Many much goodies. Gel. Syringe. Rifle ammo. Gel. 
parts. <clears throat> okay, I missed something. Oh, guess that's everything. Very good. Onward then. bomb here. And a grenade. through here we go. Oh yes, another one of those safes, but you'll notice that one is uh, closed up with barbed wire. Notice that it moved. That's surely a good sign, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And he starts trying to kill us with gas. Have to kill this. Damn it. There we go. Pick up the gel he dropped. Let's use a syringe. Three parts. Handgun ammo here. <clears throat> Just an empty little nook for the critter to hide out in, I guess. And down the ladder we go. There's gel over here. Checkpoint.
I'm not a fan of you boys. Not even a little. Suddenly I'm shockingly low on handgun bullets. I probably should have just shot the bomb, but... I want to disarm them all. I want all of the parts. bomb over here. Arm the shotgun for now. DBZ, you've got a sub now, Tater Tots of Doom, with the gifted subs, what a boss, alright, these are new, tripwire bombs, still want to be careful and disarm them of course, I think we should try out our new fire damage harpoon bolts, because it occurs to me that we do have a stash of four back in the safe hub. It's ready to roll. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. them all. Burn them all! As Danny and her father would say. Too soon. Too soon. There's 500 gel off to the right. probably use the shotgun. I've got more ammo for it than anything else right now. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I wish it was still letting me sneak kill, but as we saw, even though these are dark tunnels that look ideal for sneak killing, Enemies just saw me through the wall and aggroed in a group. Hey, harpoon bolt. Excellent. Time to get another litho.
And we got a checkpoint. Just one more. So we gotta head down there. So let's do head through to the safe hub. I'll if memory serves, we did not find any keys, and we are not yet... You've been expected. We do not yet have 20,000 green gel to finish upgrading our handgun. Critical. What to do next? I think we'll do more inventory upgrades after we max out the handgun critical. That seems like a good idea. Do handgun ammo. I'll do all my basics again. Handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, matches. And I might want to boost syringe healing. That's a good one. Needing three syringes to max out your health is kind of crazy, don't you think? Hmm... Off we go. Down the right path. It's more, well, it looked like more gas, but it wasn't really. Gel! Smashable! Parts! A tape! That cockroach, that sycophant, living off me, feeding off my work. I'll have to figure out how we got the combination to my safe. But there's no time for that now. I'm so close. No one can ever have that data. It is mine. My only way. Whoever opens that safe next had better be ready to pay the price. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. We want to ride the spike trap up. Sebastian, don't miss. I do not want to waste one of my handgun bullets. I'm very low on them right now. There you go. Now pick it up. Atta boy. All right, good. That's what we like to see. Whoa. I guess we're not going back that way. I see a trip, basic tripwire trap up here, like we've seen many times before. Uh -oh. Oh, 
All right. I think we'll do shotgun stock after handgun critical. Maybe shotgun critical. One of those. Hmm. Ooh, checkpoint. I'm suddenly low on ammo and it's alarming. Gotta be a trap. Mm -hmm. I like how he just straight up says it. <laughs> There's another basic tripwire trap. Can I burn him? Nope. Not that way anyway. That should do it. An axe. Don't mind if I do. Freebie kill. Actually, hold on. I couldn't tell if they were really dead or not. That was probably a waste of matches, but fine. My health sucks right now. I'm not in good shape, like, at all. Alright, so we can go through there to where they came from. We got shotgun shells. Good. We got parts. I don't like that these don't give us parts. That annoys me greatly. I was told that disarming traps would give us parts. Oh lord, 
bombs. Here we go. Gel. 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 Key. I'm in bad enough shape, I kind of want to run back to the safe hub. Huh. I might even buy a life gauge upgrade. A, because it's useful, and B, because it'll max out my health, and I am out of healing items right now. The first one's cheap. Nope, can't go back to the safe hub. Wouldn't want to make it easy, would we? Alright, fine. Three more of those damn things with the two heads. You've got to be kidding me. We want to ride the trap up so we can get into this little shrine space. Full on flash bolts, but we got gel, we got a key, we got a grenade. Monsters are dead. And here's our last litho. Goody. <clears throat> Here we 
we are. Place it, and we'll head to the save room. Checkpoint. She says that if you show up here with low health, which I actually think is kind of clever. I have three keys. Three. All right. Let's get some good stuff. Freeze bolts. Neat. Gel. Neat. And rifle ammo. All right. Well, we can go ahead and get revolver critical up to 50%, so I am going to do that. That makes it a beastly weapon, even though it only has four bullets right now. Mm. Those headshots aren't that hard to get. Now, life gauge. Yes! 2,000. Perfect. So we raised our max health and we filled our health to boot. It used all of our green gel, but that's alright. Off we go. What to do next? Inventory upgrades. We need more of everything. Matches, handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, all of it. Now, every other shot should be a critical headshot. It's awesome. actually want to go here yet. Can I use this? No. Yeah, no, if memory serves, there's a, there's a side area that we have opened besides the main one. We want to deal with that first. side rooms besides that main passage. We definitely want to check them both out. Or no, I'm full of shit. These are just the areas we came through.
I'm crazy. There isn't anything back here. Let's head back to the main path. Rut row. Yay. Leslie, you're safe. Where's Kid? Kid. Kidman? Is she here too? Kid. Kid. Is she all right? Is she all right? All right? Stand back. I'll get it open. Shotgun shell. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, get it open. Look at all the safes on the ground. Ain't life grand? I could have sworn there was handgun ammo here. Oh well. Well, I guess not. There doesn't appear to be any uh, anything else in here, so... Here comes trouble. Checkpoint.
pouch. Every time we kill him, it's worth a thousand green gel. Handgun ammo, shotgun shells, parts, and handgun ammo. Not bad. Come on. We gotta kill him to reopen this. That sucks, but no foul. We just gotta get this valve here. A large valve wheel used to adjust the volume of liquid or gas. <clears throat> oh shoot. Shit! I forgot he dropped those. He absolutely does. And I killed myself with an explosive bolt. I do want his thousand green gel. Get that.
All right. Don't even care. Down we go. Checkpoint. Fuck you, buddy. There we go. Alright, let's use that syringe we found. Dilly dilly. Good work, team. I would like more harpoon bolts. really like more handgun ammo, but I guess we did find a little. Good. Everything else is actually pretty good, except I have no syringes. This is bad. Fresh checkpoint. Gel. There's some gel. There's some more gel. And down we go. 
And this should be a new chapter. Achievement unlocked. I don't have time for this. What's that one? Huh. It won't stay dead. Better only fight when I have to. Okay, I'm not sure how I unlocked that, but alright. Chapter 8. A planted seed will grow. BRB. Need a bathroom break.
sorry, I know that took longer than anticipated. I just have, uh, I discovered some chores that needed doing. I need to text Tiffany that the dogs have already been fed. Seed will grow. Let's not with that. Is it even possible to wind up on the wrong side of 50% that many times in a row? That was just ridiculous. Uh, what the actual fuck? Hold the foe. I boosted handgun critical to 50%. And then one out of a dozen shots was a critical? Are you kidding me? Don't even try to at me with that shit. Shenanigans. And how. Can I sneak kill these? No, I can't. You can't fucking sneak critical those things. Whoa, shit, what the fuck? Yeah, that's not inspired by Lost Plagas or anything. Good God Almighty, what the hell is this game doing to me? Like, handgun crits just aren't a thing, even though I upgraded it to 50%, maxed it out. Well, you can't sneak kill these guys. I mean, you literally can't, because I got all the way up behind them, and it was not an option. And I see that time I missed three times, which I don't really feel like doing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes. I'm starting to get very annoyed, can you tell? Uh, let's try again. Once more with feeling. This is ridiculous. What the fuck did I upgrade my handgun critical for? I guess it just doesn't work on these guys.
because I'm not just getting this spectacularly unlucky. That can't be it. Can it? I don't think so. I think I'm being fucked with. Oh my god, I have accuracy at level 3, too. And I know I'm pulling the trigger when the reticle's on his head, so what the fuck gives? Oh, this is infuriating. I do not appreciate losing my ability to sneak crit. Fuck you, too. Well, that was just plain and simple fuckery. There's, like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That is all that was. I'm... I'm mad. Like, that was ridiculous. <laughs> Every single shot is gonna fuck up, and you will not get a critical to save your life. I don't care that you've upgraded it not going to happen. Whatever. Oh, fuck you. Very... Good! God almighty! Five shots! 50% critical chance! Are you kidding me? Connected with the head on all five. I am now out of handgun ammo. What the fuck? Jesus. Criticals for you, ever. Seems to be the motto for this chapter. Seriously, what the hell? Ugh. Oh, hello. Statue that'll give us a key. Yay! Oh boy. Oh yay, a gunner. Oh, it's not a gunner. We can't kill it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, we got through there. Hooray. Mm. Oh, goodness. Sorry I wigged out, but man, that was ridiculous! I have a 50% critical chance. It screwed me over like 15 times. Tape. Aberrant brainwave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation of sense of self, but there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved. Like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Delicious. Yeah. Hey, handgun ammo! Oh lord. And a flash bolt. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we can just goose these. Easy peasy. To be kidding me, where the hell was he hiding? Piece of shit! One lone one of these at the last possible fucking second. I remember why this game annoyed me and I never finished it. Shit like that. Miss the items back here. Got handgun ammo and green gel.
There's a statue hiding behind this waterfall with another key. Man, this is a pain in the ass. Alright. You done fucking with me? Because now I'm almost out of ammo, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I would like it if my fucking handgun critical worked! I'm furious about that. Like, I am utterly enraged. It's just isn't working because reasons. All right, well, we got a checkpoint. I suppose that's something. Explosive bolt. More gel. <laughs> Cave note. I went in too deep, and of course it was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times, but it was only a little further to the truth. I knew there'd be challenges, but I was so close. I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. This door has to lead outside. This plate I found looks like it fits in the slot. It's probably the key, but which way does it go? Fifty-fifty odds, and I've been here pacing for what feels like an eternity, unable to make this simple choice. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you that you were right, and I'll never let you go. Alright. Well, I guess he picked wrong. Where was it? Come on. Come on. I want you to pick up the item. You keep just showing me the littlest glimpses of. Bloody relief plate. This strange plate has faces carved into either side of it. One side has blood streaked across it. Well, oh, he guessed wrong, so... Don't use the bloody side. Another checkpoint. Oh, 
Uh oh. Not this again. Oh, we're back here. Don't miss map fragment 14 behind you at this segment. Do I have a syringe? Yes, I do. I don't need it right now. That's just good to know. no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. <sighs> he... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's... Like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology and pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a... unstable host. Great. <laughs> so your research partner is a psychopath. He would have rage quit and a while back. <laughs> his head. Not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. Here we go. Hooray. Research facility note. Subject number 18, connection established, commencing procedure. 245, abnormal brainwave activity detected. 258, cardiac arrest, non-resuscitable. Subject number 19, connection established, commencing procedure. 124, abnormal brainwave activity detected. 148, cardiac arrest, non-resuscitable. Subject number 20, connection established, commencing procedure. 143, abnormal brainwave activity detected. And now we get to do this again. I hate this glitch. 152, cardiac arrest, non-resuscitable. Subject number 21, connection established, commencing procedure. 209, abnormal brainwave activity detected. 214, cardiac arrest, non-resuscitable. Subject number 22, connection established, commencing procedure. 102, abnormal brainwave activity detected. 132, cardiac arrest, non-resuscitable. Subject number 23, connection established, commencing procedure. 331, abnormal brainwaves activity detected. Heart rate, respiration, blood pressure, and temperature rising. 424, recovery of consciousness. 437, stabilization of vital signs. At last... Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, June 16th, 2009. We dropped off Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Myra, God bless her, has had a tough three years. Raising a baby is a full-time job, and she's finally going to get the break she deserves. By break, I mean coming back to the KCPD Missing Persons Bureau. The amount of disappearances here seems to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. I exaggerate, of course, but there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped, and Myra will help see to that. She's damn good at her job and obviously happy to be back in her element. 
All right. There's a statue in that pipe. We have to shoot it. I'm out of handgun ammo, so I'll have to waste a shotgun shell. But it gets us another key. We have three of them now. Ruh -roh. What the actual fuck? Run! Oh, good god! Yeah, just reverse directions on me, why don't you? That fucking grand. God damn fucking insta-kills. So you're going forward, but then suddenly you have to press backwards. In order to run forwards. Yeah, makes perfect fucking sense, doesn't it? It's just little moments like this. Turn a decent game into bullshit. Safe hub, and Ruvik is here. All right, chapter eight clear, and Tiffany's home. Good timing. I'm gonna run downstairs and say hello. I'll be right back. After saving there, of course, chapter nine: the cruelest intentions. All right, be right back, folks. Don't go anywhere.
<clears throat> Here we go. Thank you again for your patience.